All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Yo, guys, what's up? I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I think it works now. I think it works now. Pretty sure it works right now. Um, bang, bang, bang. Join up here. Let me just pull put out a tweet again. Oh, that was such a. Um, a uh, an, an amateuristic mistake for me because normally I, I always check it normally I do always check it so um, hopefully everyone that was in the stream just a second ago is uh, is going to come back because we need everyone in here man we need everyone in here hashtag so rare then we go to here bang 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 hey good afternoon Franco what's up man what's up Franco how are you doing bro how are we doing? All right, hey Archie as well. What's up, Archie? What's up, brother? What's up? What's up? What's up? How is everyone doing, man? Hey, yes, Wally, we are back, man. Was well, a small mistake. Let me see. I think my face cam is there right now. Yeah, yeah. So we are good. We are good now. Is tomorrow the day we give uh, our details to the private league? Yes, Arthur. Yes, 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 yes. I will. I think I can show you how it will work. I think I can show you how it will work. Um, just let let me pull it up really, really quickly. Let me put it up for you guys because Rock has sent it to me to uh, today, I think. Um, just to explain it to you guys, um, let me see where it is. It's not on this email. Let me move to my content email, and then I think Rock has yeah. Um, submit your team. I don't think Rock has has put it in uh, the Discord yet, so I will show you guys how it will look right. So tomorrow, guys. Tomorrow, Rogue will be uh, will be sending out. Um, he will be sending out a form in the private league um, <coughs> in the private league section of the Discord. Yeah. What you guys then have to do is just put in your gallery name, put in your best team, so that so the team that will count for the tournament, and your captain. Um, and then once once you guys have sent this in, we can we can just read this every single uh, time because if we just go to answers. Um, I will be able to see all your answers and then we will be able to um, to put that in man So the form is uh, the thing that you need to, uh, to to fill in If you are too late and if you don't fill in the form means you will score zero points for the first week And would it, it will probably mean that you will be out So um, be sharp for that you guys have until uh, Friday 4 p.m. Just like the soda deadline to, to put it in so um, Be ready man be ready to fill in the form Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Then we got 18 people in already, man. Welcome, welcome in, guys. Welcome in. After the first minute, oof. Welcome, welcome in. Um, I want to show you guys uh, one thing, by the way, before we move. Because I've I've picked up a uh, another defender. I've, pi I've picked up another defender. Wait. Uh, what happened? Oh, yeah, there's my Hall of Fame. So I picked up another defender. And I think a lot of you have probably already seen um, the following. You guys have probably already seen the following. Um, Joshua Brennett um, is probably not going to play a game for Twente anymore, as he uh, needs to go to to prison um, for a lot of, for a lot of stuff actually. So um, what did I do? I uh, I decided to pick up um, the backup right back from Twente, Samstead, um, for nine euros, and if I want to, I could sell him for double already. So, um, just an extra defender in the club, new season card as well. I was like, uh, why not? He's, he should be starting next year as well. He's a decent defender. Um, I like Twente as well. So, um, I was like, why would I not pick him up? <coughs> and when we are looking at this, um, at this uh, price now, for example, he spiked up a lot. So, I picked him up for 9.37. His, his last sale was around 20. He even sold for 21, which is decent. Um, so, yeah. Alphonse, let's go. Yes, sir, Sigurd. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We had to pick him up, man. He's going to start next year as well, man. Alphonse Samstedt. I, I, I really, really like him as well. He's a great, great guy. Um, what do we think of the new Soda Data update, by the way? Because I'm not the biggest offense, to be honest. 
I think it's a bit um, a bit empty, um, and I think it was way easier before to to just check the floor price and stuff. I know um, it's important for them to now um, to now put down the new season cards and the floor and stuff. I like it, but I think it needs a little bit more color so it's easier to um, um, to think or or like yeah to uh, to see. His Boda Gleam scores were crazy, was it? Let me actually see. I I didn't even know. I I I don't think I've seen his Bodo Gleam scores. Oof. Bodo Gleam, my brother. My, oh, oh, look at the all around. Look at the all around. So this guy is definitely a decent defender then. Yo, Simon. Hey, Simon. I'm very very happy it worked for you, man. To be uh, to becoming a member. The 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 chat is now full of members, by the way. So I'm gonna tell it again because we have seen a lot of new members. Noxie's in. Uh, Lobs is in. Simon is in. Uh, Rising Reshi is in. Guys, tomorrow for the private tournament, Rock will be sending out this form in the Discord. So what I want you guys to do before Friday, 4 p.m., you ha you need to fill in this form, telling us your gallery name, the uh, and your best team. the uh, The team that you put in uh, right here will be the team that will count for your tournament scores. Um, and of course you, you need to put in your captain even though we can probably see that when you're putting in your team So make sure to fill this in uh, Before Friday 4 p.m. The form will be sent out tomorrow uh, to Afternoon or tomorrow evening. So be sharp on that. So we know what team uh, There's also an example here for you guys and Rock and I will be able to read the answers right there Another thing as well for the members tomorrow at 12 p.m. Central Europe time the draw for the tournament will be live so definitely check that out so you know who your opponent is. All right, enough about that. We got 32 people in and I think a lot of you guys want to see some lineup building. So I'm going to start with my own lineups and after that it's time for all of you guys to um, to make your lineups as well. So guys, make sure to leave a like if you guys haven't done that already because 32 people are in here right now and we only have 9 likes. So definitely drop a like right there. Then I think we need to start with All Star Limited or with challenger classic in season and a loki want to see as well because i haven't thought about a tactic uh, yet as um because because we can't really see man uh again reminder it's a team that you actually uh, submitted on soda exactly yeah, yeah yeah so one thing again um we still can't see how many people are playing in a certain division right yo eric what's up so i think I think for All-Star Rare and Premier League and stuff, it makes sense. But I'm pretty sure for the challengers and stuff, it's still really, really tough to see um, how many people are in the division that you are playing in. Because the, I see Division 2, I can see all the rewards, but I, but I can't really see how many people are playing in my division. Hey, uh, Simon, I, I uh, members always have priority, man. So members um, are always the first uh, to building liners, man. We can. Where can we see that then, uh, Peter? Where can we see that then? Because I haven't seen that yet, to be uh, completely honest with you, man. To be completely honest with you, I haven't been able to see that yet. Build a lineup and then you can check? Okay, so I wanna I wanna check this. I wanna I wanna check this really really quickly then. So let's say I'm I'm not too sure if I'm if I will play this lineup. You can after you submitted the team. Ooh, okay, so this would probably be the team that I submit in here then. I think the fact that, that the captain is now 50% as well is going to make it really, really interesting. And now, how do I see it then, Lau? How do I see it then, let's... Do we go here? No. <coughs> but it's still too difficult. Wait, where can I see it? Do I press something here? Am I blind? Where is it then, lads? Where is it then? Because I've just lined this team up here yeah, in Division 2. I can't press the challenger. Is it in here somewhere? I, guys, talk, talk me through it then. Talk me through it because I can't see nothing. I can't see nothing. Or is it somewhere? If, or if it, or is it if I go back? And then here. Nope. Same same thing. Same thing. So explain to me then. Let's explain to me because I really we really, really click on team and refresh. So far, 2.5k submitted for more competition. 407 card rewards at the moment. I uh, have to get at least top 20. So, and refresh. And then, if I go confirm or what? It's still not there. Click on the team. 
Click on the team. Aha! There we 310 people only so far in Challenger in season in Division 2. And the price was top 120, so that's one in three. Yo, Remco, what's up, bro? What's up, what's up, what's up? It's no, no, I think I got it, Rock. I think I got it. So this is, honestly, this is not bad. This is not bad at, uh, at all. This is not bad at all. Can, can I see it if I go to... Oh, I can't, I can't, I can't. Okay, but this is really interesting. I can't lie, this is really, really interesting. Hmm, I like that as well, you know. So, uh, can I see the price pool in here? It's it's only a little bit less, you know. It's only a little bit less. But I think I really, really like it. Okay, so now I know how it works. I think it's time to go to solar data and build my lines. We're going to start... Um, with my challenger, um, ooh, yeah, challenger in season, which I think is going to be almost exactly the same as I've as I've just shown you guys. So Prepper with a triple A as well against Heracles. Probably need to play him. I can finally see the the big scores, which is interesting. So Prepper midfielder has to be Hans. Uh, uh, whoa, has to be Hans. Probably has to be Minos against Vitesse at home as well. So these three, I'm quite certain with. Then my only question would be, do I play a down Rots in here, or do I go with a Koita and then play another in-season card? Thinking of getting Hans van Aken, thoughts? He's great, he's great, uh, guys. Uh, people gonna be so active just before 4pm just uh, to snipe the last active leak? Uh, for sure, for sure. Oh, the least active leak. It's, so, it's stupid, we can't see it immediately though. I agree. I agree. I could just go with, with this, you know. I could just go with the full uh, Twente boys and then put in Rots. I don't know what you guys would do, but this this could be possible. And then I could play a very, very strong... Um, and then I could play a very, very strong off-season team as well. Or like classic season. Because I could go Rots and then play... Uh, where is he? Like a Desar, for example. But I could also just play a small and just hope Twente absolutely smash uh, Heracles. This is going, uh, is going to be a wonderful weekend of Sower. It will be Kalo, man. What's up, Kalo, by the way, man? Long time no see. We got 45 people in here, guys, which is very, very much appreciated. I, I will be going into your lineups in just a second, man, after building mine. In roughly 10 minutes, I will be starting building your lineups as well. But before we do that, I want to see at least 25 likes on the stream, guys. So drop that like. Um, my question then for you guys, who would you captain in here? Who would you captain in here then, uh, lads? That's really, really interesting. I also need to have a look at PlaySharp. I don't think there are any lineups yet. Or like any predicted lineups yet. But it's always uh, always good to, to have a look, you know. But who would you captain in this lineup? Because I think just playing the full 20 boys in here should be fine. And just hope they absolutely smash, right? And then I could play an insane off-season team, I think. Yo, Apocalypto, what's up, man? What's up, brother? How are you doing, bro? I have absolutely no plans this weekend. I'll just be watching game after game after game. You guys are lucky, man. Sven? I want to go with Sven as well, you know, against Vitesse. But but Prepper's pro probably going to to, uh, to demolish, right? Twente at home, we know we know they are strong. We know Twente at home are incredibly strong. They also have Herefein away and then Fortuna at home. So, I c honestly, I can't wait for, for um, Twente against um, against Volendam. Oh, I see another midweek here, by the way. In game week 470, which is interesting. Really, really interesting. Pr Prepper or Sven? I don't know about Prup to be honest, lads. Like, he can definitely do it, but I need a, a big, big score. I need a big, big score. I'm pretty much away all weekend, man. I'm pretty much away all weekend. I know Sven is doing amazing at the moment. 4 AZ. If we look at Eredivisie only, 57.3. And he knows how to score 100 if possible, you know. It's, go it's going to be a tough decision in there. I'm I might go with a small as well, you know, because small with an assist could definitely do it. Don't know what happened there. Poof. Isn't he injured though, Cas at the moment? Yo, Mati as well, what's up? That's crazy, man. 200 for a Neuer. That's decent. Prepper or Sven? I need to know, man. Who would you guys do? Wait, can I... I don't know if I can put in a... Um, a... What is it called? A... Um, uh, a thingy. A vote. A vote. A voting thing. Rock. I don't know if Rock is Taylor, but Rock. How, how do you do... How do you make a, a poll? How do you make a poll? Because that's something that I want to do as well. We need to uh, we need to make the, the streams a little bit more interactive, guys. Or at least that's something that I want to do. Uh, ooh, I could play Boscagli here, you know. I definitely could. I definitely could play Boscagli there. 
I could play Boscockley or the Sar as, as well, man. I could play the uh, Boscockley or the Sar. I don't know what you guys would do, man. Because I think if I play Boscockley and the Sar together with Koita, then I could I could make an insane off-season team as well. So I think I think I just want to play the full twenty boys together here. I think, man. But I will keep uh, an eye on so an, an eye on my soul there. I got you. I got you, bro. I'm in a re uh, really difficult to do the squad this game week. It is, man, Andrea. It really, really is. I think a lot of people are still uh, a little bit in doubt or, or on like what uh, what they should do. Um, but I think you you should be fine, bro. You should be fine. Let me actually put this here really, really quickly. One second, lads. One second. Then we go here again. Uh, press that away. And then I want to see... Can I do a poll? Can I do a poll? I don't know. I don't know. Yo, Concato, what's up? Yo, NFTM as well. I'm in... Uh, yeah, m maybe focus on Classic. Will you build lineups? I will build lineups, Concata, man. After my own lineups, I will be building this. But I need your... I, guys, the, the faster you guys help me, the faster I can go into your lineups. Yay, JJ as well, what's up? Would you guys play the full 20 boys in here? So these four. Or... Or would you guys play either Boscagli or the Siren here, man? So what would you guys play in here? What would you guys do uh, do in here? So would you guys play a Boscagli against NSA? Well, I think NSA are actually pretty, pretty decent at the moment. I maybe bought some more cards. Of course you did, Mr. Panic. Of course you did. Of course you did. Or would you play like a... Uh, where is he? Or, or, would you, or would you guys play a Desar at home against the standard uh, Luik? Or maybe someone else, you know? I don't know. I think Sumstead should be starting as well, but I think I will play him in cap to 40. I think he's back as well on the pitch. Send captain at full 20. I would play full 20 as well and just focus on a on a big on a big um on a big off season. The Sard and Boscagli. I can't play the Sar and Boscagli, uh, Wally. Because it's uh, because this is in season, so I could only play one. So I'm I'm gonna show you guys, right? So let's say I play this in challenger in season, the full 20 boys. Then in Challenger uh, Classic. I would probably play this. I would play the Sar Boscagli together, which is insane. Then Koita there. And then we we have some options between Van Aken, Bayram, Mechelen, Augustinsson, but it would probably be Hans. And then this would then be my off season. But I could also decide. I could also decide, guys, if you guys don't think this is good enough, I could also play um Either Boscagli, the Sar, or Van Aken in the in season and just play small in here. So it really depends on what you guys would do, man. Because do we think this is strong enough? Because Boscagli will definitely be my captain in here, of course, against NSA. But do we think this is good enough? Uh, I have 10% on Boscagli and Van Aken, by the way. Hey, Sopsi! Sopsi, appreciate the the re, re sub on the FIP. Or, like, I don't know uh, how to say that. But welcome back, man, Sopsi. Welcome back. Is the Griezmann injured too? I think I saw Griezmann back on the training pitch, uh, cause on Twitter, I'm pretty sure. W uh, would put it like that, to be honest. I think I would play this as well. I think I, I would play this as well, because this actually looks pretty decent, man. Hilgers might be back. Yeah, he probably will be. He's almost back, but I bought the Griezmann because of uh, the, uh, the Europe. That's crazy, man. That's crazy. 51 people in here, by the way, guys. Make sure to leave that like if you guys haven't done it already. And, of course, subscribe to the channel if you guys want to see more content. Let me fix my light as well a little bit. Because I'm white as hell. Oh, this fine. The Sar captain. You would captain the Sar over Boscagli? Hey, I'm doing well, man, Jordi, man. How are you? How are you doing, Jordi? The old lineup, you need to enter to play well. So, if they play well, uh, shit is gonna... Anyway, so I would play uh, like... Okay, makes sense. It makes sense. Definitely makes sense. And then I think here I got five pretty, pretty solid players. Just hope uh, Lysa can either get a lot of all around or get um, or get the clean sheet. Um, I got Miola and Bailo who are injured, so I I am missing a lineup, um, which is a bit annoying. But I would probably just play a, a four man two forty uh, team in here, and let's see if uh, if we are able to actually do something. So we have Mechelen, we have Denki probably at home, and then either by Ram Moreno. A less I could play as well. But I'll pr probably go with Bayram, I think. Bayram. And then, as a keeper, we will probably play Zlominic. Captain doesn't really matter. And then I would probably go for 270 points here anyway. And then maybe I could even play a cap 220 rare team. 
with with the likes of like a Joe Hart. I don't know if it, I don't know if it would fit though. To be honest, I don't know if it would fit, but we can always try. Augustinson, I think is going going to to be benched, so I don't think that will work. Then for um, the limiteds, I need to know from you guys: Would you guys still play All Star limited, or would you say just play Challenger Classic in season? I think playing in season with the Twenty Boys makes more sense, right? And just go for that cash. Yeah, I've heard nothing about him as well, uh, Musim. I've I have I've heard nothing. You can always expect to start big AA and be honest, I think PSV will concede in this match. I don't think that really matters though. Because when looking at Boscogli, right? When looking at Boscogli, biggest soda streamers out here, nah, I'm still small, man. Like we we like Rook and I are still small. But uh, looking at Boscogli, right? Against Dortmund, conceded 2, 22 all around. Against Feyenoord, if it wasn't for his error, still a decent score. Against Dortmund, 31 AA. So even if he doesn't keep the clean sheet, he could still do do decent, you know. He could still do decent, but I want to see his scores away from home. Like he can still pop out like an eighty or a hundred. Hmm. Challenger in season, yeah, that's exactly what I think as well. I'll just go for the ETH, right? So I would probably line up the the same players as I did um, in rare. The only thing I don't know, guys, do I play um, Ricky or Rolz? I think I have to play Rolz in here as well, right? Probably need to play Rots here as well. I think by run away from home is better than Fonaka, to be honest. You think, because of the, the all-around Jeff C, right? I, I could definitely play that, Jeff C. I could definitely play that, yeah. I think Bailo ain't fit yet. No, he isn't, he isn't. For the cash, I think it's uh, the right choice. So I need to know, who, who would you play on the midfield? Would you play Sadilek, Stein, Flop? It's, uh, I don't know, to be honest. If, if, if Aiting was fit, I would always play Aiting. Oh, said it two times now and he missed it both times. My bad, uh, Sigur. My bad, my bad. Chat, chat is active as hell at the moment, so I'm, uh, I'm doing my best. I just need to know which midfielder would you guys play uh, out of Flopstein, Sadilek, and probably... Uh, I don't know if I think is starting. I don't think the lineups are there yet, but I think I think is probably going to be on the bench. I think Rotz, yeah, I think Rotz has to be uh, the forward. I want to go with Flop as well and just hope, just hope he can score because him and Small are actually... Uh, a very very nice nice tandem you know so no no predictions yet so I think I would go with this then I think I would go with flop and then rots flop and then rots captain small or prepper and an 87 for this this is crazy and the thing is with Stein I don't really like him you know I don't really like him I just need to hope I think I think Stein also gets uh, gets subbed off quite early you no know? so he was on the bench here actually 60 minutes 60 minutes so Stein could be on the bench, you know. So I think Flop is uh, a bitch better, uh, a, a bitch better, a bit better. I want to see if Bayram is actually actually that good, you know. We go to Bayram, we see away from home. You guys, oof, jeez. AA merchant, AA merchant. Hopefully he can keep that up then. So I think I'm definitely playing Bayram then. Yeah, that's a great shout uh, from you guys, man. Usually the opposite, but not for him. He averaged 30 away from home. That's insane, man. Usually the opposite uh, has to start, so may maybe flop. I mean, I would rather 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 pick the the player who who definitely starts then. So let's save that one, and then I think I can make another challenger in season classic. But then with, oh, I thought I had Joe Hart, but Joe Hart plays um in contender of course. So we would need to play Alster Limited then. Brunette is not playing, so it would be Sumstead in here. It says he it says he doesn't start, but he's definitely definitely starting. Then I would go with Sadilek in here, um, Ugalda I think, who should be starting as well, and then as the extra, probably Sam Stein, captain for me would be Sadilek in this lineup in this case. It this like this is a complete throwaway though, and then um, we should be fine. Sadilek, Sadilek and Kyrlo predicted midfield. Where do you see the 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 prediction, Eric? Where do you see the prediction? So these would most likely be my lineups then for this um, for this game week. Uh, you know, four men, two forty. Um, as Bailo and Miula are still injured, when they are back, I could probably play four teams. Challenger in season first time, and then Challenger Classic as well, which is looking phenomenal, by the way. Which is absolutely looking phenomenal, man. So, guys, it is. <coughs> I think it's time now. So, I appreciate you guys helping me. Um, I just want to. I just want to check out one more thing before we move on. I want to go to pro and then to limited all-star. I want to see how many 
people are actually playing that. If we go to all global all-star and then limited, we see 7,000 people playing. Um, and the rewards, two, okay, 2.5k for tier five. But I think we, we wanna go for the cash. And then if we go to challenger limited in season, challenger limited in season, I am in division two here. So I wanna see the rewards really, really quickly. Wait, but I'm 50 to play, so so probably play safe unless he's, he starts 100. Oh, yeah, of course he uh, he, he got subbed, subbed off injured, but I think he should be fine to be completely honest. So the in season rewards they actually look decent as well, like cash, cash, cash. But if my Twenty Boys manage to do insane, then you never ever know. Really can't decide Openda Janse of uh, Janse. I mean Kaz, probably Openda. I like Openda a lot, so want to go with him. Or maybe uh, Griezmann. I don't know if you have Griezmann al already. But that could be a fantastic option as well. Alright, 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 alright. Guys, drop me your gallery name right now in the chat. Um, and it's going to be interesting to see how many we will be able to line up. I will be live for I think around 2 hours. So I will try my best to build as many of your lineups as possible. Um, but I can't. I just don't know, man. Like, if, if there are 30 or 40 people in front of you, then I'm so sorry, man. Then I'm so, so sorry. I Wally first in the chat. And this is going... And I think chat's about to explode. There's an amazing Excel that compares all the rewards and how many people participate in every division. Where can I see that, uh, Andrea? Where can I see that, Andrea? Of course, all the members... All the members have priority. So if you aren't a member, if your name isn't green, then I am sorry, but I will probably not be able to build your lineups today. Or you can become a member of the channel right now. First link in the description. It's only two euros a month or 50 cents a week. Um, and you will and you will be able to enter the Discord. We have just launched a private league for members only, which is absolutely absolutely fantastic. Um, and you will be priorities in videos um, and like the lineup builder streams. So let's just put everyone in and i will just have a look at um and just see how far we are or like we will be able to come so we got archie 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 oh archie 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 oh oh that's not something i wanted to do um that's my bad bang archie go back um after after archie we have nftm we have rising reshi nftm um, and FDM and guys of course when building lineups for other people just free f uh, feel feel free to uh, to help each other out so we can hopefully um, speed up the process um, because I will try my best okay so let's see after NFTM we had rising Reshi um, Andrea I'm not go gonna do you right now because we have a lot of members in front of you um, who, who, who have priority so if during the end of the season uh, end of the season end of the stream uh, there is still time. I will probably build your lines. I need to focus, man, on um, on on doing all the on doing all the 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 manager names correctly. So JJ ninety seven, Frank. I'm sorry, I can't do yours as well. Um, Davey Correra I can't do. Um, uh, Siko, I had um, I had stage, man. I had stage, so um, I did not have any time today. I did not have any time today. Uh, Konkata, Lobs, Gaming. And then after that, I will have a look at, at everyone that isn't a rare. Uh, what is your uh, your Soda name, Simon? What is your Soda name, Simon? I need to know your Soda name again. I can take you on Twitter right now. Tag me, uh, Andrea. Can I join without credit card? It didn't work for me. Uh, probably not, Gus, man. Probably not. Because we, we've had a lot of people ask that as well, but... You, you, you just need to, to find a way to become a member, man. Otherwise, it's uh, um, it's a bit it's a bit annoying if we if we if we do it another way around. Okay, now let's put in everyone that wasn't a member. So we see Andrea, and done the FC, <coughs> and done the FC. Then after that we have Frank, Mister Frank, Frankie, Frankie ninety eight underscore seven. We are almost there, guys. We are almost there. Then we have Davy Correira, Davy Correira three, and Bostilt. If I said that correctly, if I read that correctly, um, Bostilt. And then I think that is pretty much it, right? I think that is pretty much it. Oh yeah, Simon of course has to go after Lobs Gaming. So we have Simon. 
1806. I think a lot of people did it with PaySafe card. In the end, they did, yeah. In, in the end, a lot of people did, yeah. I think Simon Simon had um, had a lot of issues as well, cause and Simon in the end uh, went and bought a PaySafe card as well to um, to fix it. Alrighty then, Mr. Wally, Mr. Mr. Wally, tell me your um, the the lineups that you prior prioritize the most at the moment. J just tell me, just tell me, bro. I want to see your. Uh, I want to hear from you the most prioritized lineups, and I will have a look for you. So I will be going through everyone here in, uh, in here, guys, asking you guys to to tell me the most prioritized two lineups uh, for this week, and then I will be going on um, and building them for you, and just give you my reasoning, my opinions on the players that I think or players and teams that I think will do fantastic. Um, All Star and Challenger Classic in season. So All Star is your main prior priority still, which is really really interesting, actually, Mr. Wally, especially with uh, someone your gallery size. That's really really fun to see. So I know you have a big gallery you have a lot of players so let's see um all the matchups here we see dc against montreal but at home could always smash Unerstal against heracles so far the best matchup we have uh Majewski against Mets, um and champion in season i think we have to save Majewski for in season uh for champion in season kuke against leuven decent as match of decent matchup nato against everton could do well because Everton can't score. So champion-wise, I want to say you have two decent goalkeepers for this midweek. You also have Maignan, but against Fiorentina, can't seem keeping the clean sheet. Warlesson is a tough one. Suzuki against Westerlo. So it's like a 50-50 if he keeps the clean sheet. Dennis, probably not. Roof against Luik could keep the clean sheet as well. So we got some decent options here. Um, but I want to say... I want to say... Personally, I want to play Unerstal in here. I, th I just think he has the best matchup. I just want to say he has the best matchup. Then you have... Oof, you got some nice picks here, man. You have a Grimaldo. You have a small Prupper, Boscagli. Who could all who could all do incredibly, incredibly well. So, um, wait, a, wait a second, actually. Wait a second. I think we need to focus on, on your in-seasons first. Because I see a lot of off-season cards. So I need to see which in-season cards you have for Challenger. So that's something we need to see here. So goalkeeper wise, you have only you only have Martin Paz and Gouquet. So we might need to play the the Mechela boys in here, man, because I see a lot of 2022, 20, 23. So you probably need to play the 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 thingy, the Mechela boys in here, man. I would honestly say play the Mechela boys in here because you have a lot of 2022, 20, 22, 22. I would just say just 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 go in with the full Mechala boys because you have some nice XP on them as well, right? So why would you not not just uh, go ahead and play them r right there? Because Marapti and then you have Rob Schoos probably, ooh, who's also off season, who is also off season. So surely you have an in season forward then, right? So the forward would be different then. Okay, that's actually interesting. This is this is actually interesting. Okay, 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 okay. N now I know how it looks a little bit. Suzuki, I have an under three, and I went Unerstal. Okay, so Unerstal definitely there. Go to preference and choose highlight in season. I will, I will. Next time, I'm uh, next time I will go into the in season. I will do that, Archie. Yeah, appreciate you. Appreciate you. Grimaldo is a no-brainer in my opinion. Rodri against Arsenal. He could either smash it or do incredibly bad. Then we have Flop. We have Arnsners, who. It, like he is a great player, he knows how to play on a lot of positions, but I want to say Soder wise he's not the best scorer, so wouldn't go with him. Even though he he definitely has a great great matchup, eighty four percent chance of winning. Flop is decent as well, but I don't know if this is all star limited worthy. I would probably use him for another lineup. Then we have Rodrigo, we have Hans who could always smash, but I think Rodri probably needs to go there. Uh, hey, little bro, watched everyone struggle to building lineups. Made me even happier that I'm only playing under 23 in Classic. Going to be so hard for, for people playing in-season in Classic. It is, man. Because I think a lot of the, um, a lot of the decision-making will be really, really important now, man. Will be really, really important now. I think Rodri could do fantastic against Arsenal or really, really bad. But I think, like, interception-wise, tackle-wise, uh, duels won, he could be doing fantastic. But... I think the Sar has to go in this lineup. Just to be a little bit more safe. Then we need to finish this off with Guillaume Keres, who's a fantastic forward. 
or Palacios if he's playing. I think that's the the thing with um, with Leverkusen, right? You don't really know who who's playing, but I think Palacios should be playing. But I think there there aren't a lot of um, a lot of prediction or a lot of predicted lineups yet. But Lever, yeah, as you see, Leverkusen is just the one that isn't isn't uh, predicted yet. But I think these four in All Star Limited have to like just have to be there. The star only with an A matchup, but I think that's a bit of cap at home. Should be smashing it. Kioqueras in the form of his life at the moment should be smashing it. And then I Loki want to play a high small or a prepper just to 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 stack it with uh, Unerstal, because if you don't manage to keep the clean sheet anyway, then it shouldn't matter. If you know what I mean. Or stack a Tisudali with a Dasar, for example. Uh, I think people are going to ruin their lineups try trying to play both. Uh, that's what I think as well, man. That's what I think as well. Andre has no chance starting uh, in the league if Palacios is fit. I agree. I agree. And I think a lot of people feel that way, Sopsi, man. I think a lot of people feel that way. I think I just want to play Prepper, man. I think I just want to play Prepper. And then Captain... I Honestly, it doesn't matter who you Captain in here, man. Because they should all be smashing. They should all be smashing. I don't know how you made this one, but I think it's 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 probably going it's probably quite similar. I think um, Wally, I think it's probably quite similar because you have a lot of great great players this weekend, like this guy and and Gadeu, now back in the Chinese Super League, and he's been smashing it the the first two games, man. Wow, absolutely incredible, man. Quality is key. I agree, man. I agree, uh, and and that's exactly what 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 Wally has because. I could switch out four. I could switch out all of these four players, putting four new players in here from his gallery, and it, it would still be be a quality team, you know. So definitely, people need to think about quality over quantity right now. Definitely true, right there, Mister uh, Mister Mike. Definitely true. All right, then your challenger in season. Then um, I want to filter it to in season cards for a second. Then we only have Gaetan Kouké. You have Romeo Vermont. So you don't have a lot of in-season cards here. You do not have a lot of in-season cards. Um, or did you... Wait. You said Challenger in-season, right? All-Star... Oh, wait. Never mind. You said Challenger Classic. You said Challenger Classic. That's completely my bad. That is completely my bad. So you said Challenger Classic. So I don't even need to, um, to have this filter on. Um, I just go with all-season cards. That's my bad. That's completely my bad, man. And then after that, you said end champion in season. So we will do that as well. I just, uh, I just Palacios instead of Pripper makes sense. Makes makes sense. Makes sense. Makes sense. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Challenger classic got you. Okay. All right. Looking at these goalkeepers, Bodar no chance of keeping a clean sheet. Pass no chance of keeping a, of keeping a clean sheet. Warlison. He could, because Brug have now sacked uh, Delia, and I don't know how they will do, and Wallerson definitely capable of, of getting some all around, even if he doesn't keep the clean sheet. Circle at home are, are a good team as well, but I want to say it's 50-50. Suzuki could be, but I want to say Roof has the best matchup here, or Bono. Roof or Bono probably has the best matchup in here, but I don't know how this guy scores, because I'm not really involved in MLS and stuff. Ah, DC recently, if if I, if I have to look at this, it's not insane, you know. It's not insane. So I would probably favor uh, Roof. I think I would probably favor Roof in here over Bono. Even though I think Bono could still be a fantastic one. But I'm, I'm going with Roof in here. Then, Defender. Boscogli, it uh, doesn't matter if he plays at home, away. He needs to play there. Then, midfielders, we have Klasi against Vitesse, which is a fantastic matchup as well. But, um, Wally, I think you should pick up Mainlands, man. I think you uh, you should pick up uh, a Sven Mainlands. I think he's pretty cheap as well right now. Uh, he's a midfielder from AZ as well, very young. Could be a potential uh, uh, or like a very, very great player, man. So, um, that's just a tip from me because I think he's better than Klasi. Uh, but I still think Klasi could do amazing. Um, against Vitesse because Vitesse their midfield is absolutely horrendous so I want to go classy in here then we got Tisudali we could go with the Gent boys we have Koita as well who could smash because he's, he now had a little break so he, he should be back in full fitness as well we have Driouesh we have Lapoussin 
Oof. <coughs> I, I don't know who to favor in here. I think Tissou Dali was actually pretty decent uh, before the break. Before the international break. But Gent in general aren't, aren't amazing at the moment, right? They aren't amazing. But looking at, at when, when Tissou starts, it's decent. Definitely check him out. Got you, man. Got you. A Juke against Anderlecht. It is a tough one, but Anderlecht... I've watched them against Kordrak and they were absolutely horrendous as well. Um, Painsil could smash against um, Seattle because Painsil has been tearing up the MLS so far. Four games in, five games in. Some nice AA as well. And at home, you never know, man. You never know. This guy could be an uh, an, an in home uh, an in home at home merchant. So I would go with Painsil and then as the extra, I really want to go with Small. I really want to go with small and then captain. It honestly doesn't matter who you captain in here, man. I think uh, Painsil could smash. Uh, small could smash. Boscogli, it could always smash. Classy, it's probably the only one that I'm not too sure about looking at the scores. But I've seen Vitesse play in real life and on TV a lot. And he is, or like he, they are absolutely ass. So if Classy managed to get either a decisive or, or not, he will probably get a lot of all around anyway. So I would go with Classy in there. Then the Roof over Bono. So I don't know how you did this, Wally, but I think this is pretty much what I would do for you. Bang. And then Champion in season as well. Let's see if we can run through that one because I probably need to speed up a little bit because there are still loads and loads of people waiting. We got Majeczki against Mets. Should be a no-brainer for me. Even though I do think... I do think Nato could keep a clean sheet as well. Mainyan, I wouldn't touch. And Radecki, I can see Leverkusen conceding against Hoffenheim, man. Personally, because Hoffenheim have a great, great forward in Kramaric. So, Majeczki for me. Then we have Lala against Lorient. We have Beukema against Salernitana. We have Rodri, Chaka, Teuma, De Bruyne. De Bruyne is injured again. I didn't know De Bruyne was injured again. So, then Chaka in here. Bailey, Ito, Tamari, Dembele, Tsikankov. A lot of decent forwards. If Grisu is fit... Which I don't know if he is. I don't know if it is on play sharper. Don't think he is fit though. I don't think Grizu is fit though. Let me see. Is it there? It is not there. Koit 100. You guys really think Koit is going to score 100 points this week? I mean he definitely could though. He definitely could. He definitely could yeah. I think I want to go Ito. Even though he plays against Lyon. We're actually doing decent. I think the forward and champion... Oh, wait, this is in season as well. Wait, I think I messed up. Give me a sec. Give me a second. So, we need to have a look at uh, the in season players, which I almost messed up here. Almost messed up here. So, let's see. Which forward do we have who is in season? So, we have Dembele, Tsigankov, Doku, Griezmann. So, Dembele, probably then. Really strong lineup, but Jesus Christ, what a mess to make a lineup at all. It really is, man. It really, really is a mess at the moment. I agree. I am agreeing, man. It is a, a big, big mess. So, Rodri there. Beukema. I would honestly prefer Beukema in here, man. As he plays against one of the worst teams in the Serie A. And then Abergel could do decent against Brest AA-wise. Ake against Arsenal. Don't know if he's going if he's gonna do, do decent. Blind against Betis. Could do, could do decent as well. Captain Rodri. And this could be a decent in season, but I don't really like it, man. I don't really like it. I, I, I like. I have to be honest here. I don't really like what I'm seeing. I think these two have to have to play. Um, these two have to play. That's for sure. Uh, let me get rid of Painso and Tisudali. These two need to play. Then I want to see. So Blind is 2023. Cabore against Spurs definitely not. Um. So it's either Blind, Ake. Or we or we gonna choose a no I think I think I want Beukema there, easy matchup. Then we need to pick either Dembele, Doku or Griezmann. And if Griezmann is fit, you need to play Griezmann. But for now he isn't fit, so I would go with Dembele, who could still smash. And then as the extra, we need another 2023 20, player, which with Abergel could could be all right, you know, could be all right, could be all right. But he just doesn't score incredible. If Palacios is fit and you don't play him in All-Star, then play Palacios in here. But otherwise, just go with Ake, I think. And just hope City absolutely smash Arsenal. 
And this is probably what I would do for you, Mr. Wally, man, for the three lineups that you uh, that you did. <coughs> no last minute lineups? You reckon? You reckon? I mean, I can see if you play Palacios in here. So that's, that's why I didn't play him in champion in season. But if you don't play Palacios in here, then play him in champion instead of, instead of Ake. All right. Moving on to Apocalypto. Apo, what do you want to see? Which two lineups do you want to see, man? Mr. Apocalypto, tell me. What do you want to see? By the way, guys, if you guys haven't uh, haven't haven't liked the stream already, man, make sure to leave a like. It takes you one second of your whole life as well, and it definitely would help the channel out as well, especially to grow. Um, and if you haven't subscribed as well, make sure to subscribe. Jeez, I've talked a lot, man. I've talked a lot. I've been talking loads, but I've been enjoying it so far, man. So, Mr. Apocalypto, tell me, <coughs> Prem and two times champ in season. Let me see if I can do that, buddy. Let me see if I can do that. So you have PL. So you have Premier League in season. Oh, Premier League in season there. So Onana, Malo, Gusto, Madison. Please tell me of Son. Oh, brother, this team is doing fantastic. Then the question is Pedro Porro or Guimaraes. Pedro Porro or Guimaraes. I think because Spurs play Luton at home. You need to go with Porro. And I think this lineup uh, just really, really fills in itself, man. This lineup just really fills in itself. This is a very, very strong lineup for Premier League in season, man. Apocalypto. Th because Spurs should absolutely smash um, smash uh, Luton, man. They just should. That two times champion in season. So we see Neuer who's injured. So Ter Stegen has to go in here. Let's see. What else do we have? So Bayern play against Dortmund. Oof. So I would always favor Can Cancelo, Cancelo. Simons against Mainz is an absolute no-brainer for me. Rafinha, Bailey, Lewandowski. Does Rafinha start for Barca? Does Rafinha start for Barca is my, my question. He does, right? He does. But Lewa also starts. Lewa just qualified with Poland for the Euros as well. Which could mean his, um, his motivation and, and everything is in great, great form. He has been scoring a lot recently as well. So I want to favor Leva over Rafinha. Of course, we could always decide to play them both. We could always decide to play them both, of course. Uh, so we have Rafinha with Gundogan as well, who I could play. We have Guimaraes. I want to go with Gundogan and just, hope th and just hope that Barcelona smash, which could be doable. And I would always captain Xavi Simons in here, man. I would go fully Barca. And then play... Uh, and then Captain Simons, man. Undaf against Heidenheim could be amazing as well. Yo, both, what's up? Leva isn't 100% fit? What do you mean, Musi? He played 120 minutes yesterday for Poland, no? If he's not fit enough, if he's not fit enough, and he is a doubt, I would probably go with Rafinha. Yeah, because Las Palmas are, aren't good. Las Palmas aren't good. So I think I would just go with the Barca boys, because if you, if you, uh, if you decide... To, um, to split the Barca boys, right? And they just don't do good. Then it is done. And I think they could absolutely smash against um, Las Palmas. You could you could even decide to go with the full Barca boys. And just uh, and just save Simons for another lineup. But I think I think the fact that uh, you have Gaza or Neuer. I think you have to play Simons in here, man. You have to play Simons in here and make this your uh, your strongest lineup because I think these three are fully set because you're you're not picking a the Licht against Dortmund, Davis against Dortmund, Theo is on a suspension, Trip is injured, Kim is on the bench, Davies is probably not playing, so these three need to be there. Then forward Bailey against Wolves. I don't know what you think about that one. I don't. I wouldn't personally like that. Forward it would e either be Undaf. Or Lewa for me. But if Lewa isn't fit, you need to play Rafinha. I think Undaf was injured in, in here, right? So maybe maybe Undaf against Heidenheim could be absolutely fantastic, you know. Uh, maybe Undaf is actually the play in here. To uh, to have a little a little differential. So I think I would go with this, yeah. And then as the extra, I would play Gundo. And then still Captain Simons. I think this is this is what I would play, man. After going on, unfortunately, you... Uh, uh, you can skip me. I, I will. I will just make your lineup, uh, Eric. Oh, I will make your lineup, Eric, man, and just uh, and and uh, you, then you can just uh, have a look, man. Have a good evening, though, man. Have a good evening, Eric. Have a great, great evening. 
And then for the other champion in season, Mr. Apocalypto, you would need to play Paolo Gaza, uh, Gaza with Mata de Licht. Ooh, Kimir Urgard Olmo. If Olmo starts, he could do amazing. But I want to favor Bruno G as well because he is absolutely good. He's absolutely good. He's absolutely insane. Looking at this, he could he could be the one to score absolutely phenomenal against West Ham. So, <coughs> Jeez, so for me, it would be Bruno G. Forward, Rafinha or Lewandowski. If Lewandowski is fit, play Lewa. Um, and then Olmo. I don't know if he starts. Because if he starts, this guy... Poof, he could do fantastic for this Leipzig team, man. Because I do reckon they score a lot against... Uh, against Thingy. Against Mainz. But I, I'm not too sure about Olmo um, in general. So, so far I like this. Then as the extra... Maybe Alayx, you know. Or, or you play the full Barca boys here and just hope they assist each other. And then captain for me would be Bruno G. And I think this is what I would play for you, Mr. Apocalypto. And I want to say the matchups are definitely in your favor this week, man. The matchups are definitely in your favor. You have C or you have Leipzig playing against a, a good team or like a bad team. Barca are favorites. Um, Stuttgart are favorites. Um, then your second champ in, uh, in season rare team. Is a bit more difficult, but still has has a, a decent probability. But your Premier League in season is looking absolute filth with the Spurs boys playing against Luton. Uh, Gusto, if he's fit, is he fit? Oh, he he was ill. Oh, I see Malo Gusto ill. So I really hope for you he does start, man. Really hope for you he does start. Um, but otherwise you could just play Poro there and play Bruno G there and then just play um, Kimich there. So. If Malo Gusto isn't fit, Porro as a defender in here. As the extra, pick up a Bruno G from this team in there. And then play Kimich or uh, Alex Garcia there. But I think this is it for you, Mr. Apocalypto. And it looks pretty freaking decent. So, well, well done and good luck in this game week. Then, moving on to Musu. Musu, Musu, Musu. What do you want to see, Mr. Musu? Which two lineups do you want to see, Mr. Musu? I'm pretty sure Erki only has uh, has one lineup, so let me have a look here. I think he's I think he, he just has an in-season champion, if I'm if I am not mistaken. So for Musu, I will just play this. I will just play this. Ooh. Lost Kirasi. Bang. And then Captain doesn't really matter too much. Challenger in season, Musu? Challenger in season. Okay, let's see, Mr. Musu. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Challenger in season limited. Ooh, Uderstal and Lysa. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Musu. Musu. Musu, come here, man. Come here. Come here. Musu, come here. Musu, come here. Come here, come here. Musu. Why are you copying my goalkeepers, bro? You have the exact same goalkeepers as me. Why are you cursing my goalkeepers, Musu? I'm looking at you, Musu. I'm looking at you, Musu. Why are you... Yeah, you, Musu, you. Why are you cursing on my goalkeepers, huh? Huh, Musu? Huh? Why are you doing that, Musu? The exact same four goalkeepers as I. No, it's all good, Musu, man. Understall. Let's see. You have Prupper, Otamendi, Smets, Bayram, Brenet. Oh, Brenet is a tough one. Hilger, Samstedt. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. For me, it has to be Otamendi against Chavez. Even though Ota has not been scoring too amazing. If I speak, I'm in big trouble. Yeah, you are in big, big trouble. But Otamendi in general, at home, in the Portuguese competition, is a must to play. Is a must to play. I can see Bafika smashing Chavez this week. Um, so you need to play him. Well, man is literally copying my whole gallery, man. I see Van Aken, Flop, Sadi, Kukshu. Wow, Musu. Wow. Musu is literally buying all my players as well. I see a Prepper who I have. Mechele, Bayram, Brenet. Wow, Musu. Wow, I see you, Musu. Hey, Musu. But I, but now I know if if you do well, I do well. Uh, so uh, so let's so let's hope our players perform, bro. Let's hope our players perform. Ooh, Koit has to go in here. No, bro. See, that's a compliment. I am. I am. I am. I'm just kidding, Musu. Man, I'm just kidding. Bro, I just started playing. It's all good, Musu. Man, I'm just kidding. Hopefully, we can uh, we can both win some amazing rewards, bro. Hopefully we can both win some amazing rewards. So this is what I would play for you, I think. Captain Otamendi or Dasar. To just to be safe. I wouldn't Captain Akoita. Even though he could 
Um, even though he could do amazing. As I know, Burnett will never play for 20 again. Yep. That's uh, that's annoying, man. That's annoying. But I mean, bro will will enjoy the, the, the reward videos. He will. He will. He will. He will. Definitely. But this is what I would play for you. And then I think you, you could play another one, right? So we have Top Elias in here. Who smets Mechelen by Ram. If by Ram starts... Uh, is he actually 50-50 on uh, Play Sharper? Let's uh, let's have a quick look here, man. Let's have a quick, quick look. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba All right, still 40 people in here, man. I appreciate everyone that is still in the stream. I appreciate everyone that is still in the stream. Yeah, he did. He did, Musu. He did. He did. He did have a single A earlier, but I wouldn't look too much at that to be uh, completely honest, man. So Matze is on 50. Um, Bayram is on 50, but I think Bayram plays uh, blah 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 Bolat went off injured against Rengar uh, and are questionable uh, Matzen might still be suspended blah 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 okay so Bayram is on 50% but if we get news that Bayram starts I would play Bayram if we get news of Bayram starting I would play Bayram then midfield we have Hans or Flop I wanna go with Flop Forward, Torgan Azar, and then Hans. This doesn't look as strong though. This doesn't look as strong. So maybe Rots. I would, no, I think I would go Rots here and just hope Twente absolutely smash. So this is what I would play for you, man, Mr. Uh, Mr. Musu. This is what I would play for you. That first Challenger in season team looks phenomenal, man. Looks absolutely phenomenal. Looks absolutely phenomenal. Musu has uh, has got average taste. Please reconnect. Okay, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I think. <coughs> I think I'm back. Am I back, lads? I don't know if you guys can hear me, but I really, really hope I am back. All right. Yeah, you're back. Okay, that's good. All right. What do you want to see, Mister uh, Mister Archie? Oh, we're back. Hey, Dan, what's up? Oof, luckily we are back. Alright, um, Archie, what do you want to see from me, bro? Now you are back? Lovely, that's lovely. Oof, my wife, I went again. My wife, I went again. But I'm just waiting for Archie. Archie, what do you want to see, lad? I don't know if Archie is still here. Because if Archie is, isn't here, then we need to move on to uh, NFTM. I know NFTM is here. Oh, there is Archie. There is Archie. All-star, challenger and contender. We can only do two, brother. We can only do two. And challenger in-season or challenger off-season? That's something that, that I need to know as well. But probably challenger in-season, looking at, at, uh, at all your cards here. All right. Let's see. Because I see a lot of players that I don't really have a lot of knowledge about. I see a lot of players that I uh, that I don't have a lot of knowledge about. So I know I see a Laval, a Begovic, Begovic, man. I think I've I've owned this guy for um, for 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 one game week this season. Hasn't been doing too great. So Begovic is definitely out of the picture. Also challenger and contender off season, but challenger in season or challenger off season as well. Ooh, last last four games at home. They haven't... Oof, they're in bad form. Lask are in very, very bad form. They're clean shit here, clean shit here, clean shit here. They just can't score. They just can't score, but they can defend pretty decent, it seems like. So Laval is an option. Vargas against Cuadratero. But oh, of course, Championship have, double, have a double game week. I forgot about that. Championship have a double game week. I honestly would play Roof in here, I think. Iverson, wait, who, who do they play? Who does Iverson play as well? Huddersfield, who are very, very bad at the moment. And Begovic plays at home against Birmingham and Swansea. Okay, that's interesting. That's interesting. And I think because it is a double game week, you just need to trust Begovic. Even though I don't like him. I don't like him, but let's just hope he does decent. Iverson, I would definitely not touch, personally. Then... Defender. Let's see. We have Suga. We have Velasquez. We have 
Small Pripper Araki. Ooh. Harwood Palace could smash as well, you know, for Southampton. But Southampton concede a lot, though. But this guy just gets insane all around. It's Mid Middlesbrough and, and, and Ipswich, though. So his score needs to come against... Um, Oh, for the Gensek. Okay, got you. I got you. I got you. Taylor against Livingston could smash. Otamendi against Chavez. For me, has has to be it. Then Canales against Guadalajara. Vanit Sex, Schrijvers, Arnsness. Oh, Matson. Schoofs, Classy, the Sart. No, the Sart is in Challenger. I think. Canales is just insane in um, in Mexico. Oh. Canales is just insane. I want to show you guys as well his scores. So they have to have two games. I know, Cole. I know, I know, I know, I know. Canales is, is doing incredible. If we look at this and then Liga MX, 65.2. 65.2. And I think he got spared in here because uh, they, they had a midweek, which I... Oh, they, they have again. So Canales might only play a half, which I, which I wouldn't risk. Which I wouldn't risk. I think as the extra, we need to go with uh, Howard Bellis in here. Taylor Harwood Bellis, then midfield. I want to say Canales, but I, but he could um, he could um, but he could he, he like he could get subbed off pretty early. So maybe I'll go with Classy in here. Was a decent matchup as well, and then I would play Koita. A lot. Of, I, I I can honestly see Koita doing absolutely insane this weekend. So this is probably what I would would play. Captain Harwood Bellis, as he has two games. I just hope Begovic keeps a clean sheet in one of them. Otamendi, Koita, and Klasi should do phenomenal again, uh, in their matchups, in my opinion. Then, Challenger Classic in season. You said the Gent boys, right? You said the Gent boys. So, Watanabe. Surely you have the Sar in here. You do. Then, forward. Do you have Tisudali or no? You don't have Tisudali. So, which forward are we going here for then? Fleming against Rotherham. I know Rotherham are absolutely shite. And... Oh, he doesn't have a double game week. Oh, he doesn't have a double game week, though. Uh, I know, I know, I know, I know. I know, Paulson. I know. Toby. Toby Laurice against Fortuna. Okay, I can see that happening, yeah. He definitely has the best matchup out of these lads. And then, as the extra, it has to be Suga. Oh, wait. Suga, Suga, Suga can't fit. Ooh, Pripper, Small. Wait, let me see. Which other goalkeeper do you have? So, Iverson. Okay, 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 okay. Small, Suga. I can't play Suga. Pleatings. Small or Pripper is probably going to smash. So, let's go with Pripper. And I think this is actually a very strong classic in-season team as well. And one of them, they didn't score, I saw. They will play play Friday twelve thirty. Oof, that's unfortunate for them. Otherwise, it would have been a uh, it would have been a double game week. And then let's go to to contender in season. You said right, contender in season is going to be interesting. So if Laval, Fargas, Caro, oh, you have a lot of contender players here, man. That's my in season team. <coughs> got you, I got you. Okay, I want to say out of these guys, Soriano probably not keeping a clean sheet away from home. Caro at home, he could, but he plays against Espanyol. And um, La Liga 2 is a very, very weird competition. Because as you guys can see here, at home, they normally keep a lot of clean sheets or score well. But away from home, the difference is so big. The difference in La Liga 2 with home and away is absolutely incredible. Oh, contender off-season. My bad. Contender off-season. But still, it's, it's absolutely insane. It's absolutely insane. Wow. So, goalkeeper, I want to wait a little bit with. I want to see the players you have, actually. So, we see, uh, like, a Sean Lowe. We see a Handel, who, in my opinion, should be should always be starting in a lineup like this. Timo Lecce, I see. Dresovic. Okay, Carter Vickers. Bang. No-brainer. Carter Vickers, no-brainer. Against Livingston, is Carter Vickers is an absolute no-freaking-brainer. Then we have Renato Stefan against worst team in the league. McGregor is injured. Okay, so midfielders. Wanicek, bang, against Schalke, who are struggling indeed. Mandi against one of the worst team in the leagues. Should be scoring. 
goalkeeper. Who 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 uh, who would you guys pick as a goalkeeper? I, I'm thinking either Laval or Caro to be honest, or Fruchtel to stack it with Handel. Oh, because they could do fantastic. Man, if we look at Handel, for example, oh, he won't play ninety minutes. Is that already official? No way. Okay, if he if he doesn't play ninety minutes, then I would just go with this. I think. Um, either Araki or Handel. Handel. If uh, I think Handel and Fruchtel always need need to be together, right? As the defensive stack, because if 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 they don't keep a clean sheet, it's done. Uh, nobody knows. Uh, note. Nobody nobody knows. Uh, about wait. Uh, about head to work. Um, I will try my best, Hulk. Uh, Hulk. I will try my best. Just tell me um, which lines you want to see, and then I will try to remember, man. But I don't know if uh, if I got time for that. But I will definitely try my best. Otherwise, send me a DM on Discord as well, uh, um, uh, Hulk. Send me a DM on Discord as well, a private message, and then uh, with your lineups that you prioritize. Just just going by Queenie, and uh, Queenie is a big Celtic uh, follower as well because he has loads and loads of Celtic superheroes and and stuff. So he probably is right. He's probably closer on the news than I am uh, for Celtic. So, well, I'll trust you there, Mr. Coltrane. I will trust you there. Then I want to say Canales. But the fact that he got subbed off last time. Um, wait, Wani and Canales. And then I would probably save Araki. I would probably save Araki and go with Handel. Um, the only thing in here is um, with Canales, right? He got subbed off last time because they had a midweek. And they have a midweek again. I don't know if I'm short, but if it's, um, but if so, I'm going to watch it back. Which items do you want to see, JJ? Which items do you want to see? Then I will try my best to, um, to put, or like to, to, um, to, to make them for you as well. Then I will definitely try my best. But uh, what I want to say with, um, Canales, he has played four, oh wait, he got subbed off here to play the midweek. And then he played 83 minutes again. The fact that they have another midweek coming up against Inter Miami away from home I can he could be he could be benched potentially or he could be subbed off um but that's something to think about but I would still say if he if you get info that he starts you need to play him Archie you need to play him if he if you think he starts um because he's just way too good to be on the bench or uh, or not to be in a lineup especially if he does start so this is what I would play for you this uh, the also limited looks great in my opinion Challenger Classic looks decent. Um, it looks decent. And then Contender absolutely looks phenomenal as well. I see a lot of great matchups, man, this week. I see a lot of great, great matchups on paper. So we could see a, a high-scoring game week absolutely instantly. All right, who's next then? Who is next? NFTM. NFTM. What do you want to see, boss man? After that, we have Rising Reshi, with 282 limited. So this will be a lot of fun to, uh, to watch and make. But then we have Paulson. Uh, and then JJ. So JJ, I will uh, have a look and uh, and build your lineups as well. Challenger in season and Challenger classic. Okay, let me put down Challenger in season and Challenger classic is what you said, right? Um, for me, in season Challenger two times. Oh, um, oh, and two times classic. Okay. So, hi mate. Sorry that I left your membership. I need to stop playing for a while until uh, I have a student job again. No, it's all good, Sander. I mean, it says it says that you are still a member. So, I think I think I think I have you in um, in the private league as well, Sander. So it, it's all good, bro. It's all good though. It's all good. Don't worry about it, man. Do not worry about it, man. Um, you are still a member for now, and I think you are in the the private league as well. You are in the private league as well. Um, because I've uh, I've just recorded the draw. Wait, let me actually go here so you guys can show I've uh, I did the draw with all the names in here and I'm pretty sure Sander uh, I'm pretty sure your name was in here as well so um, it's all good you're uh, you're still in the private league man so um, so it's all good it's all good it is all good brother do not worry about that you're a legend bro I'm off to work a hey, good luck at work man yeah it's until the end of the month but a few months I'm coming back I'll oh, got you bro got you got you got you for now, you are still in uh, in um, in the private league and stuff. So just just keep following uh, my Twitter, uh, where I will be posting the private league, um, and then you uh, and then you, you can just follow everything, man. Yeah, you are in, man. You are in. 
Don't worry about it, Sander. Do not worry about it. Okay. Uh, Mr. NFDM. In season challenger and two times classic champion. Uh, classic challenger. Whoa. Okay, let's see. What do we have? We have Remiro against Alaves. Good matchup. Unerstal, good matchup. Uh, Clark, good matchup. Lori, decent. I don't know how he's doing in the MLS at the moment. But he's a fantastic goalkeeper. So 5 0 in there. Nil nil. So at home, he keeps clean sheets. Away from home, they get absolutely smashed. Away from home, they got smashed twice now. So Lori against Col Colorado wouldn't play. Radetzky against Hoffenheim could do could do all right, but I can see them concede. So um, if you go to challenger in season, um, all right, we'll be there. Got you, got you, got you, got you. Ooh, do we go different and play Steve Clark in here, or do we just go safe and play Unerstal? I want to say safe and play Unerstal. You are in all star lineup, bro. Uh, uh, we'll be playing Loris in the MLS special. Okay, got you. So, Lori, I wouldn't touch then. I won't touch Lori then. With Andrade. Oh, yeah, oh, of course, you have the Seattle stack as well, or like the Seattle collection. Van Beek against Erka say could smash, but I think Prupper is the safe option here. Then, I want to touch. Touch, I want to touch. I don't want to touch no one. I want to play Haye. Haye against Erka say could be phenomenal, AA wise. Forward. Ooh, we have Rossi, we have Matson. Ooh. Kölert. I think Matson. And as the extra, I'm thinking of playing Van, uh, Van Beek here because I think Twente and Herefein have a decent matchup. And these two, even if Herefein don't play well, these guys, these two guys could smash. I would Captain Prepper or Matson in here. Matson against Brunby is a tough game, but he should be fine. And looking at the other options, I think. Rossi away from home, even though he is a quality, quality forward, way too good for the MLS. He's not in the best of form right now. Hasn't gotten any decisive as of recent. Uh, Saloy, yeah, away from home is always tough in, in the MLS, so I wouldn't touch any of those. And then Rots, I could play Rots, but I think Matson is more likely to do well than Rots. Um, so I would go with, uh, with Magnus and then play this. And then for your Challenger Classic... Challenger Classic. Let's see. We got Clark, who definitely has the best matchup right there. Then we have Dorsey. We have Hollingshead. Uh, Mechelen. I think Dorsey. Van Arke, Espinosa. Espinosa is great, but now, again, he plays against uh, Houston. So, wouldn't make any sense to play him against, um, against my goalkeeper and defender. So, I would go with Sadi. Then I would likely play Rossi in here. And just hope he finally gets a decisive in. And as the extra. And then as the extra. You have a Curlo as well. Really hope Aiting starts. But I don't think Aiting will start. Tolo, Lodairo. Um, Hollingshead could do amazing. Against Colorado. Because I'm still. I still think Colorado are absolute dog shit. But the last two games. LFC played away from home. They got smashed. And Hollingshead was very very bad. So I think it's safer to go with um, Van Ake. And then I would Captain Sadi, I think. And then for your last Challenger Classic in season. Um, it would be Frey. And then I think I would just play the full Seattle stack in here, man. Personally. I think I would just honestly just play the full Seattle stack. As I don't think there is a big chance of, of, of getting a decent reward here anyway. Um, so that's probably what I would do, to be completely honest. Or... If you want to take a little bit more risk, just go with the uh, with this defensive stack. Go with Espinoza, Saloy, and then... No, not Saloy. Rots, I would say. And then probably as the extra... No, I, I think I would, would probably go with this, yeah. But I think this, this is a complete throwaway, man. I think the, um, the Challenger Inti is limited and the first Challenger Classic is definitely... Are definitely good enough. Definitely good enough to perform. Definitely... So, that's what I would do for you, bro. That is what I would do for you. Alright, so this one can go. Then we can get rid of this one. Thank you, NFT, by the way. Uh, NFTM for being in here, man. Thank you, by the way. Then, Reshi. Moving on to you, Mr. Reshi. What do you want to see, brother? What does Mr. Reshi want to see? Because we see a lot of great... Great, great quality goalies in here. So, 
It's going to be interesting to see what um what Mr. Reshi wants to see, man. It will be really, really interesting. Them cards, wow, Reshi, bro, Reshi is doing insane. Champion season and challenger in season. Champion in season and challenger in season. Okay, both two lineups if possible. I can. I will try my best. Not not considering Reynoso though, even though he's away. Crazy score are uh, um, home and away. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Oh, wait, let me actually pull him up for you. Let me pull him up for you. From Minnesota, like, like these these type of guys. Are good but I, I don't know if he starts I know he was questionable and he only played 30 minutes last week and I don't know if he's fully fit of course if he is fully fit you need to play him um, yo yo I'm back What's, uh, welcome back mr. panic welcome back I don't know if there's any news about Reynoso so I'm just going with the knowledge that I have right now um, Paul, uh, well Paulson <clears throat> and honestly against Philadelphia away it's it's not it's not a good or like a great matchup either but this guy, he, he, like, oh, no, I know he can smash. I know he can smash. That's for sure. All right. So champion in season and challenger in season. So let's go with the strongest one. Sommer is injured. We have Onana, Dubravka, Kobo. Okay. Leno against Sheffield is a good one. But he plays away from him. I think the two goal goalkeepers we are going to play are Gulaxi and Ter Stegen. I, th I, want, I want to have one quick look in here. Since Ter Stegen has been back, right? How good has he been doing for Barcelona? Very, very good. So since he is back, Barca have been doing amazing. So, Ter Stegen, bang. What else do we have? We have Grimi. We have Malo Gusto. We have uh, Anthony Robinson. We have Jean-Paul van Heck, Tarkowski, Van Dijk, Magalhaes, uh, Gabriel Magalhaes, Nunez, Ruben Diaz, Poch. Okay, so we got quality in here. So we got quality defenders. Grimaldo. I don't, I don't want to hear it. Grimaldo needs to be there. He's fully fit now, should be starting. Okay, if you should be starting on NFTM, then play him in one of your lineups. That's everything I, everything I can say. Simmons. No brainer. Ooh, Dan. Now, this is important. The, the forwards are going to be the difference. But I think you need to play Openda with Simmons in here. Oh, wait, this is in season. I'm kidding. 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 I need to have a look at all season... In season cards. I'm just kidding. That's completely my bad. I almost forgot. I almost forgot. Okay. Okay. We are here now. We are here now. So in seasons. I'm going to make this fully in seasons. Is Malo Gusto fit? What do you think of Sugawara? He's good, man. Uh, Finch is good. He's good. He should be making a transfer this season. Are they limited? Um, I have no idea, man, Stan. I don't think so, though. I... I'm pretty sure kickoff kickoff is definitely gone. I think kickoff is definitely gone. Philly are RMS so far. That is true, but still, you never know. Is does anyone know if Malo Gusto is fit? Because if he's fit, I would definitely play him against Burnley. I would definitely play him against Burnley if he is fit. Robinson probably needs to play then if uh, if he plays against Sheffield as well. And this guy is good as well. Uh, he could smash away from home. But uh, if Malo is fit, I would play Gusto. Van Hecke, definitely not. Tarkowski. Brother is still alive, of course. Like, of course, of course, of course. I would be doing Classic with Xavi and Grimi with those cards. Uh, better line up. 100% go, 100%. 100%. The offseason, I, 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 I already have something in mind. For the off season, this needs to be it, man. This needs to be it for the for off season. Openda needs to go in here. Where's Openda? Openda, Openda, Openda. Bang. Then with Grimi. That's for sure. Then the goalkeepers. Uh, we have Tersteg and Galaxy who who are going um, in another one. I would say Leno, even though he plays against or even though he plays away from home. I want to say Leno. Um, or maybe Radetzky. I think uh, Radetzky makes more sense. Um, and then as the extra option here, we would we would need to go with another one. But I think I'll, I will just wait for uh, the last option right there until we make the champion in season. Because that is pretty interesting as well. So Ter Stegen, there. Um, Robinson. Then. Ooh. 
Bro Fernandez, Weird, Palmer. I think it has to be Palmer. It has to be Palmer against Burnley. Then, ooh, this is tough because I want to go with Nicholas Jackson. As I do think against Burnley, he could smash. He plays most of the minutes as well, and he has been decent in form, if you know what I mean. He's slowly but surely scoring some goals again. So maybe against Burnley, he can, he can bag another one. But that's the question. Is he going to bag another one? Who would you play? Because I'm thinking here, either Nicholas Jackson or Lewa. Or maybe even Watkins, man. Like one of the best strikers right now in the Prem. I don't know which forward you guys would play in here, man. I think it's a tough decision. It's I think it's a very, very tough decision in here. So it would be Watkins, Jackson or Lewa. But I like I like stacking them. I think Lewa could smash up against Las Palmas as uh, as the off season card. But I don't know I don't know if that is smart. What two mids would you choose? Stokers, George Knieper, Rob Schoves, Mrapti, uh, Schoves and the Lord uh, Schoves and the Lord Knieper. I think I want to say Schoves and the Lord Knieper because the Lord Knieper, a nineteen year old, is absolutely insane. Watkins at home so far is decent. They have a midweek against City though. They have a midweek against City though. Which is a tough one as well. He just played two games for England as well, I'm pretty sure. Because Harry Kane wasn't there. For me, I would I think I would pick Lewa or or Jackson. Maybe even Jackson against Burnley, bro. Burnley are, are ass. Burnley are garbage as well. Burnley are really, really garbage. And then I would probably play Bruno Bruno Guimara uh, Bruno Guimaraes, Bruno Fernandes. And then Captain Cole Palmer. I think this is this is what I would play. It's a ninety, a ninety as well on Solar Data allegedly, which is, which means it's a it's a fantastic fantastic lineup. I don't know if, if any of you guys would switch anything. I think, I think if Gusto is fit, I would always play Gusto in here over uh, Robinson. Gross against Liverpool. No Fulkrug van Hecke. No weirds. Um. I want to say Palmer and Bruno Fernandes have a better matchup. That's honestly something I would say. And Weirds, Weirds, Weirds is probably going in in uh, in the next one. <coughs> because with Weirds you see a lot of sixties, right? Whereas with with like I know I know this guy's a fantastic player. Like, don't get me wrong whatsoever, yeah. And at home this guy is amazing for Leverkusen. Oof, at home he's absolutely insane, by the way. Wow, just one bad game against Bayern. So maybe a weirds over Bruno even. Maybe weirds over Bruno. And then I think I think we are going to play Bruno in in the other champion uh, in season. Hoffa are conceding three goals any match. That is true, but it doesn't mean that weirds is the guy to fix that up, you know. But I think I think you are right. So I'm going to listen to you. Then uh, we need to build another challenger in season. Uh, not challenger champion in season. Where we go with Gulaxi. Then. Ooh, for me it has to be Dalo against Brentford. I don't think anyone else has a better matchup. Tarkowski. Yeah. Van Heck against Liverpool. Definitely not. Van Dijk could do amazing. Grimi over Robinson. Oh. You really. You don't think I should. Um, uh, yeah. You can. You can. You can. You can. You can. If you look at this. Then. Wait. Wait. Let me get rid of this. Let me save that. And I think we can make one of the best in-season champion teams in here. If we change Grimi in here instead of Robinson. I actually forgot that as well. I forgot that I forgot that you can just, just do that. So we play Grimi in here. And now this is a phenomenal lineup. Only thing that I'm not too sure about is Nikola Jackson. I don't know. Would you guys change Jackson for like a Lewandowski? Or a Haaland maybe even? Or because Openda and Simons are going in the off season, Rashford against Brentford could smash three as well. Don't get me wrong. I just don't know about the forward here, man. It has to be Jackson, Watkins, or or Rashford or Garnacho. Hoylund even could do amazing if he's back. That's the thing because I. No, I want to go. I want to go Jackson and just hope. Garnacho in for Jackson. The thing is though, do you not think I need to play Bruno, Garnacho and Rashford together? 
yeah, I, th I, I, th I think, I think it makes sense to to stack them together as well. And now for the for the next champion in season, how do do the divisions work? Um, you've been put in a division for every single competition based on the players you have in your gallery, um, and then you, you honestly you just need to to do as good as possible to not get relegated uh, into a lower divisions because the lower you go into the divisions, the fewer or the worse the rewards you have. Are not your way better? I agree. I am agreeing with that. So, uh, Bruno Fernandes and Gulaxi. Then, Defender would probably go Robinson, even though we can play an off-season an off -season player in here. This team just doesn't have a uh, good enough forward. Fairs, fairs, fairs. So, I would play Garnacho to stack with Bruno Fernandes. And then, we have a Douglas Luiz against Wolves, who could smash. This guy is amazing, by the way. This guy is absolutely amazing. He's a beast as well for uh, for Aston Villa. And at home, he seems to be doing even better, even in games that that uh, that they lose. So I would probably play Douglas, Douglas Luiz. So Schoves or Van Aken? Schoves. Uh, I mean, bo both are good though. Both are good. Great mids needs forwards. I think I agree, man. I do, I want to say I agree. I mean, and then in here we can still play another off-season card. We could still play an off-season card. We could also go with Watkins over Garnacho, which I think makes a little bit more sense. Which makes a little bit more sense. <coughs> and I would, I would, I would probably go with this. And I'm, I want to go into the champion in season now. Uh, no, not in season. Uh, to the champion classic, I mean, where the first one we need to play Simons with Openda. Because Openda is a fantastic forward, but I think these guys need to be together in uh, the uh, in the classic. Then goalkeeper, we see Leno. Okay, guys, who who would you play here? Leno, Nato, or Radetzky? Because Leno, if Nato plays against Everton, who who just aren't scoring. Leno with um, stack with Robinson, and then you would play Gulaxi in um, in the off season or what? Oh, okay. I, oh, I like how you think. I love. I really, really like how you think. You wait a minute here. So you don't think level over Jackson? It could be. It could be. It could be. I can see them both doing well. But the fact that uh, someone told me Lewa uh, wasn't a hundred percent fit, so I wouldn't risk it. I wouldn't risk it. But I mean, just uh, just wait on on uh, on the info. Then the Leipzig boys in here. I think I think this is what you uh, what you like or or like what you had in mind, didn't you, Cole? Playing these. Could be fantastic against mines they should smash the hell out of them they should they should absolutely smash the hell out of them then defenders so we have a virgil we have a dalo for me as a defender again if gusto is fit i would play gusto all day but i would play dalo or van dyke in here because dalo is always decisive capable especially against brentford who who have been awful and Van Dijk, like Van Dijk is just Van Dijk, you know. And against Brighton, I've seen Brighton play recently in real life. If you haven't seen that video, man, definitely check that video out, by the way. But Van Dijk, at home as well, he hasn't lost the game at Anfield um, yet. So I think Van Dijk has uh, has to go in here, man. Verge has to go has to go in here, man. Leipzig can't keep a clean sheet against Mainz, even though I'm pretty sure Mainz is actually doing pretty well. You never know, though. You never, ever know. I mean, you, you, you would probably go with uh, uh, Radetzky, right? But at home, they are actually keeping some clean sheets, you know. So at home, they are actually doing decent. So at home, Leipzig are doing good. Salah, should I say play Spurs in Season Prem or in Champion? Uh, in Season Prem. I think the rewards are better there. I think the rewards are better there, uh, Mr. Panic. Guys, we are one like away of hitting 30 likes as well. So if you haven't liked the stream already, man, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. If you haven't done as well. Then as the extra here. We have Roberto against Osasuna. Lewa. Maybe we go do double forward in here. Because Lewa is fantastic as well. Van Hecke we are definitely not playing. Dalo. Schlager maybe. Just go with the full Leipzig boys. Schlager just scored yesterday against Turkey as well. And this guy is phenomenal as well. Ah, okay phenomenal is a big word. But he could do amazing for... Um, for... Um, Leipzig, especially if he gets, if if he manages to get to get one of the uh, the the decisives in, could be amazing. 
We also have a Chaka in here, Pulisic, Garnacho, like a Tavernier could could do well in my opinion. Enzo could do in my opinion. Yeah, you would go Haaland, but the thing is with Haaland, right? He only he, like he only gives you a sixty and stuff, which I'm not a fan of. Enzo, man, I'm missing the big Enzo. Too bad City and Arsenal play each other because I uh, got quite some so, some good players for, uh, from those teams. I still think, I still think like a Rodri or or, or a Foden could do well, you know. Like they definitely can. Maybe a McAllister. Xhaka in there? You th you really think Chaka? You really think Granite mother freaking Chaka? I don't know, man. I'm 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 not convinced. I'm not, I'm not convinced about Chaka. Like he scores well. Don't do not get me wrong whatsoever. He scores well. But is this good enough? Is this good enough? He must he must pop up finally. I wouldn't risk it though. If I become a member right now, would you do my lineups tonight? Uh, I don't know, man, because we have a lot of people to go through, um, Cameron. We have a lot of people to go through. But, I mean, if you become a member, you're getting added to the Discord and stuff. So, I would definitely say it's, uh, it's a good one. It's only two euros a month as well. So, uh, I would say it's a win-win for, for everyone there. Schlager, Tony. Hmm, the extra is a tough one here. I wouldn't go Bailey. I wouldn't go Saka. Gallagher... Could do well, man. Like they, like they, they play Burnley. Burnley are whack. Burnley are a shit team as well. I could even go Gallagher and just hope he gets a decisive in. Honestly, Chelsea have been been picking up form recently at home as well. So Gallagher is an option. Lewa is an option. Haaland, eh. Dalo is an option. Enzo won't start. He is tra uh, tra traveling, traveling late from international break. Okay, so we are not risking it then. I would honestly pick... Uh, Chaka or Schlager. Chaka, Schlager, Dalo. Or Gallagher. Hey, Reshi, this is tough, man. This is tough, Reshi. This is tough. This is a big decision as well. Because I think... I think these four could smash. Rodri, actually, no-brainer. I can see that, too, you know. I can see that. I think you will have a lot of stuff to do against Arsenal. And at home as well. It's a win. It's a must-win game as well. And with, like, Rodri, you can't really go wrong. You can't really go wrong with the Rodri, man. Yeah, let, let me get the subs out as well. 68.6 against United, Chelsea. Eh, against Arsenal last time. He only scored 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 37, though. Last time against Arsenal, he, he only scored 37. Let me see the away game against Arsenal. The, oh, he didn't play. And that's why they lost. Every time this guy doesn't play, City lose. They, bro, literally, every time Rodri doesn't play, they lose. Hey, Cameron, appreciate you, man. Welcome to the VIP section of the r 2 channel, man. Make sure to join the, the Discord as well, man. It's uh, really, really active. It's really, really active. Appreciate you. I think we are now on like 40 and 48 or 49 members, man. So, appreciate everyone that is a member as well. Appreciate everyone that is a member. I think I would go Rodri and then Captain Simmons. I think this, that's what I want to do. And then we still have another one to make for you. Um, uh, Champ Classic. Champ Classic. So Radecki has to go there. Then let's see. Then I would say Saliba. No, no, no. Bosch has a good matchup though. But I think you could play him somewhere else with that L15. Um, Diogo. Dalo. Um, Jaka. Um, Lewa, and then what else do we have? Gallagher, Gusto. Then again, man. Whoa! What the hell? Panic! What did you just do? Wait, 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 wait! Panic! What did you just do? Mister Panic, I just gifted ten, ten memberships to to some some subs, man. Wow! Wow! Are you crazy? Guys, W in chat for Panic, man. I want to see Ws in chat for Mr. Panic. Sander is now a member of the chat. Sorer Holland is now a member of the chat. Um, Toma Chats, I don't know who that is, but you are now a member of the r channel. channel. Um, Ada Wayne, Francis, um, Ian Sorer, Jordi Bossers, uh, Jordan Wallace, Mattia, um, and who else did I miss? Wow. Hey, Panic, you are amazing, man. I appreciate you a lot, bro. appreciate you a lot. W's in chat, man. W's in chat for panic. If you um, if you manage to get a um, 
a membership from Mr. Panic, man. Thank him now in chat, man. Wow, Panic. That's amazing, bro. Appreciate you, bro. Appreciate you a lot. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. That's absolutely amazing, man. Wow. I know Francis as well. I know Jordi. So there are some, some, uh, some big viewers in there who are now members of the channel as well. You are making it uh, very, very difficult for me, Panic Man, to build Linus now because now we have like 70, 70 members that we need to build Linus for. But I um, appreciate you, man. Appreciate you. All right. Then Enzo, if he starts, I would play Enzo if he starts. I think this is what I would do if if Enzo starts and stuff. But I think I want to say the in-season teams look very, very strong, especially this one looks insane, man. This in-season team looks good. I want to say these two look like... Like these, uh, no wait, these three teams look decent, and then, oh uh, no, wait, 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 what? I'm whiffing too much. Honestly, every team looks decent, to be honest. <coughs> every team looks good, man. I love giving you more more work, Salah. Oh, I hate you, Padding, man, I hate you, but I appreciate you a lot, man. I appreciate you a lot. All right. So, Reshi, man, this is it for you, man. This is probably what I would do for you, my brother. My brother. We've, we're now streaming for one and a half hours as well, guys. So, it's a big one. Right, Paulson. Paulson back. You've been in here the whole freaking stream. So, drop me, man. Drop me the two or three lineups you want to see. The two or three lineups that you want to see, man. You've got my challenger, bro. Kidding, that's fine. Hey, my bad, Reshi, man. My bad, my bad, my bad. I was just looking too much at your champion players, man. Reshi, your gallery is fire, man. Your gallery is absolutely fire, Reshi, man. Rashi, if you want, if you, uh, if you want me to to check your lineups uh, again and just give me and just give me my opinions, just drop them in either on Twitter, in Discord DM. I will have a look, man. I will have a look. Um, so yeah, definitely drop them there, bro. And I will I will come back to you. I will come back to you. All right, Mr. Palson back, the one and only Sigor Palson. Um, what do you want to see, boss man? What do you want to see? Thanks for the membership. Hey, you don't have to thank me, man. You need to thank um, you need to thank Mr. Panic, bro, uh, Toma. Build my champ. Uh, Salah, now I bought Griezmann and Oishman. I want to change my lineups again. Of course you want, man. I can't change my nickname in the Discord server. Uh, what do you mean, Cameron? I think it, there is a... There is a... A thing. Uh, I think it, it literally says what you need to do, right? I'm pretty sure it literally says what you need to do. Um, you can you can ask Rock, uh, Cameron. Uh, you need to DM Rock because Rock is way smarter than me with uh, that type of stuff. Do you have anything for seven euro fifty for an attacker? Not at the moment, Jordi. No. Um, maar bij mij mag je challenger in season in classic doen en a uh, Simon, kan je me dat even DM'en? Can you drop me a DM with uh, with uh, those priorities? Then I will have a look because otherwise I will definitely forget, man. I will definitely forget, but I will try my best, man. I will try my best. Uh, what did Sigor say? Build my champ teams either two in season and one classic or two classic and one in season. Okay, I will try and go with two in season because I think that's um, that's way better. Okay, so let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. So we have Radetzky, Mare, and the youth. Ooh, on paper Radetzky has the best matchup. So I know he's off season, but we need to play him. In the in season, oh, we can't, we can't. So we have Ta, Van Hecker, Ramani, Ramos, Di Lorenzo, close. Okay, so let's let's start with the off season then. Let's start with the off season then, as we have a Radetzky plus Grimaldo defensive stack, which needs to uh, which needs to happen, which needs to happen. Panic, thanks. Yeah, can't uh, can't type. That's weird. That is pretty weird. All right, midfielders. We have Roberto, Alex Garcia. Chalanoglu against Empoli. I think Chalanoglu has to play, man. So no comments anymore in cap 220. Don't think so, no. Don't think so. Well, I want to say Chalanoglu against um, against Empoli needs to play. Off season looks so good. It does, man. It does. It does. It does. Uh, if if is Palacios fit? Is there any news on Palacios, Sigor? Because if Palacios is fit, I would say play him in here as well. But I would definitely play Chalanoglu. Then forwards, we have Gudmundsson against Frosione. Politano. Hey, could you help me build my champion lineups? Maybe uh, Mohamed, man. Or like Ayubi. We still have, uh, let's say, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 people. Uh, you are a member, though, so you would be after Simon. So, 
I will, uh, I will do my best. Wait, wait. I'm going to edge your RUB. I'm going to edge your end. I will just see how far I will come. Because it is a little bit late as well. You're building in C. Fuck. Oh, I hate that, man. I hate that. My bad, my bad. Hey, that's sharp of you, uh, Concata. That's really, really sharp. Um, so Grimaldo. Uh, what did I say? Kalanoglu. And then let's see the forwards. Let's see the forwards in here. Gudmundsson or Politano could be fantastic. Oshiman against Atalanta. Tsikankov, no. Male, no. For me, it has to be Gudmundsson, right? I think. Your, your Icelandic brother. He's doing decent as well. At home, he could smash. He plays against Frosione, who aren't insane, but aren't bad. Same as Genua, though. And then Oshman, I think, needs to go in in-season. <coughs> Kvara is at 0% on pleasure, but I'm not sure why. He looked fine dancing in the locker room after the last game. I mean, maybe maybe it will still uh, be updated. Maybe it will still be updated. Okay, then let's see the extra. We have a Buringur, who I personally really, really like as a player. Really, really like Buringur as a player, man. He's important for that Ren team as well. If you look at the French League, away from home. Away from home, it isn't as good, though. Away, away from home, Mr. Benjamin isn't as good. Maybe a tough for the full defensive stack, but if they concede once, this whole lineup is in the bin, so I don't know if I like that. Alayex. Max XP on Albert as well. Yeah, that's important, man, for Albert. That's really, really important. Alex has been a bit off recently, just like Girona. But maybe now, after the break, they can they can go back against Betis. Want to go Alex or Ramos, honestly? Because Ramos could smash, in my opinion. Ooh, Haraldson? Yeah. Let's see, what other... I would say, if Palacios plays, Palacios. If Palacios... If, you, if, if we get... The memo that Palacios is fit, we, we play Palacios, right? Yes, Mr. Uh, Sigur. If Palacios is fit, play Palacios. If not, I would play Alex, I think. Off-season Prem or off-season Champ? Uh, that's a good one. I don't know. Um, let me actually check. Hey, Phil Jones. What's up, Phil Jones? How are we doing, bro? How are we doing? So, let's see. Uh, Taz guaranteed 60 plus, but yeah, Palacios will be there if fit. Otherwise, I would honestly play Alex over Ta, I think, because what if, if they concede once, it's done. But I, I can see, I can see if I can see why uh, you, you, you would play Ta, to be honest. Makes sense, but I'm, I'm gonna put Palacios in there for now, I think. <coughs> and a Captain Grimmy or Kalanoglu. Let me see, Prem off season or Champion off season. I need to see... I need to see... Wait, limited or rare um, SR? Are we talking limited or, or rares? Because I need to see the, the, the difference in prize pool. Really, we need to see the difference in prize pool um, SR. Uh, wh what else did you say, Sigur? What else did you say? Sigur... Sigur... Sigurdur? Si Sigurdur. So, like, you remember when you got Koita as a reward and I kept, uh, uh, kept telling you not sell him? Good times? Yeah, you did, bro. And because of you, Panic, I managed to win a lot of rewards with that Koita, man. So, appreciate you, man. You are my Soda Guru. You are my Soda Guru. Oh, wait, Paul, so you said champion off-season as well, right? Champion off-season, I think you said. Or, no, in-season. In-season. My bad, my bad, my bad. Bro, I'm messing with my head here, man. Um, the youth, tough game. Okay, so let's see what we can do in here. I think Meret... Then defenders. We have Ramos. We have Rahmani. We have Ta. Okay, I'm gonna go with Ta in here. If you play Palacios in that other lineup, yeah. So if you play Palacios in the other lineup, you have to play Ta in here. Then Alex. Forwards. I think I saw a new new card, Oshiman. So if Oshiman plays, Oshiman needs to be there. Oshiman. Uh, can you add me to the list? I'll DM you the lineups. You don't have me. You don't have to to DM anything. You don't have me. You don't have to DM anything. Just tell me when it's your um, when it's your your turn. What uh, what your priorities are. What is your soda name, by the way, Cameron? What is your soda name so I can add you? Because that is pretty important as well. Zambo Angisa or Rahmani? I think I would go with this to be honest. I think I would go with this. You could also decide to play the full Napoli stack in here and just go with this. But it, it all depends. It, it all depends on the Palacios situation, right? 
Um, it, it all depends on um, on the Palacios situation. Because you could just go with a Rahmani in here and play Politano, for example, or a Quarachkelia. What does it say about Quarachkelia? Subbed off injured. I think he should be fine. I think Quara should be fine. But this is definitely something you could do because Atalanta concede a lot, right? I feel like it's so much harder to work out lineups now. It is, but I think I think it will come, man. I think it will come. I think a lot of people are just looking too much, um, and I think in the in the next few weeks, um, everyone should be fine. So, but I'm liking it. I'm liking the looks of the update. I think I think a lot of people are, man. I, um, myself as well. Myself as well. So. Ooh, I don't know. Do we play the full Napoli team in here? Let me go again. I don't. I don't think I want that. I think Mare for sure. Alex for sure. Forward has to be Oshiman. Then either with Quara or Politano, just depending if they all start. Then the Rahmani just for the defensive stack. I think I would go with this. And then probably Politano. And if Quarachkelia is fit, play Quarachkelia. I think that's what I would do. Then, if we go to another champion in season, we need to go with Diouf, Ramos, in my opinion, um, Boring Gortis off season, Robertone against Osasuna could do well, Zambo and Giza could do well, <coughs> maybe Zambo, then Kvara, if fit, of course, um, or Tsigankov. Ooh, wait a minute, I see, I see, I see Tsigankov now. Yo, Joe P, what's up? I see Tsigankov, so maybe Tsigankov together with Alayx. Nah, nah, I can't see Girona doing amazing against Betis, to be to be completely fair. And then Ta in here. But again, it all depends on um, the uh, on the Leverkusen situation with uh, Palacios. If Palacios doesn't play in here, we play Ta Bang. So if Palacios isn't fit, we play Ta in there. And then you have an insane champion classic rare. The update is, is great besides no common cap to 20. No, just pick up another limited, bro. Just pick up another limited. Then champion in season, it's the Napoli boys with Alayx. What you could do is switch Alayx with Angisa. Play the full Napoli boys in here. And then play um, Alayx and Tsikankov. So that's what you could do. But it, again, it, it all depends on Palacios, I think. It all depends on Palacios. Because if Palacios goes, then Ta goes there. You can just play uh, Alex Tsikankov together, go Angisa there. Uh, you could even switch Kvaratskhelia there, but it all depends on on, on on if Palacios is fit and if Kvaratskhelia is fit. You have room for me um, on the list to build my lineups. I can add you, but I don't know if we uh, if, if I will make it there, to be honest, because we still have a loads of, like, we have loads and loads of players. Loads and loads of people to do, man. Uh, but definitely tell me your um, your soda name, Jopi. Tell me your soda name and I will add you. I think your your soda name is, is just Joe P, if I am not mistaken. Yo, Yannick Kowalski. I like these. The 13 will, will most likely be the guys that I have left after all the news. Exactly, exactly, Paul. Exactly. That's what I think as well. But again, it just depends on Palacios and Kvarachkelia. Because if Kvarachkelia is fit, I would, swip, I would swap him with Politano. I would swap him with Politano. GP123. Okay, you are last in the list right now. But, um... I will, I will try my best. As long as there are a lot of people in here, I will just uh, I will just be, uh, or like stay live for you guys. All right, JJ has left the stream, but he told me challenger in season, I'm pretty sure, and challenger off season. So let's see what we can do for him. We have Teza, we have Hunchko, Bayram, Long, Escobar. Hunchko, no-brainer at home as well. Can you add me too, Jankova? I'll, I will try my best, uh, Kowalski. Jankova, 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 bang. Then Wifa, Arnsness, Harry Wings. Do they have a double game week as well? That's what I need to know. Oh, he wing scores bad, man. Wow. Wing scores really, really bad. That's absolutely incredible. Santiago Rodriguez. Yeah, it's, it's decent, but not good enough, I would say. Desar. Bang needs to go there. Then we also have Wifa. We have Buanga against Colorado. But again... LFC got smashed two times. I have a problem, lol. Next, uh, next season, my in-season will be classic. I've made too many change, uh, classic changer cards. Yup. How do you see your division? If you go to um, to your lineups, you can see it here. So for challenger in-season rare, I'm in division two for the first one. Uh, and then and if I want if I want to play another team 
I'm going to be in, uh, in Division 3. Classic, I'm in Division 2, 3, and Limited, in season Division 2, Division 3. So you can just see it in here, man. You can just see it right there. And we know if myself will play for, for Feyenoord. I think he's benched now for Ivanusic. I think Feyenoord now plays with Minte, Jimenez, um, Paixão. Then it will be Weaver, Zeruki, and Timber. I'm uh, pretty, pretty, pretty sure, Mr. Panic. Pretty sure that will be um, Feyenoord's lineup for um, the upcoming, the upcoming days or like the upcoming weeks, actually, if everyone stays fit. Um, Kuhl de Jong needs to start right there, and then Wifa. I think this is an insane team for JJ. Wow. And he said Challenger off season as well. I think Challenger Classic. Let's see what we can do for him. So he has a Wellen Reuter. He has a Nicky Oli. So for me, it would be Oli against Fortuna. Oh wait a second, actually. I'm going way too quick here because he also has a, a Steve Clark. So I want to say Steve. Then let's see what we can do here. By Ram, Aaron Long, es Escobar for the defensive stack. Then we have Arnsness, Rodriguez, Wings, Ivanusic, Tillman. Oh, this is Timothy Tillman. We have Delgado. Who is, is he still good? Stanks is back in training too. He is, but I don't think he starts instantly. Uh, um, I don't think he starts instantly. Thank you. That's cool. FTM problem we all have. A lot of people have that problem. Yeah, a lot of people have that problem. Um, ooh, which forward should I go with? Suarez against. Surely Suarez starts right. Even though even though they have a midweek, surely he starts. That that's the thing though with uh, the Inter Miami lads, with Suarez and stuff. Don't know if they start week in week out, but I think he should start, and then he's probably he's probably gonna smash New York City out of the park, probably. Um, I wouldn't go with Rodriguez as he plays into Miami. Dorsey could be an option. Mansfield, Taylor, Busquets. Don't think Busquets scores amazing, yeah. Don't think Busquets scores amazing. It's not. It's four nil loss, and this guy scored that well. That's that's good, you know. That's good, but it isn't amazing. He hasn't gotten a lot of decisive yet. So I think the midfielder is definitely something that JJ is struggling in right now. Now I want to go with Arnsness as he has. He just has the best matchup. Then as the extra, who would we play? Teza could be an option. Uh, Castro Montes, no. By Ram, 50-50. If he starts, so wouldn't touch him. Tillman. I honestly want to go with Delgado against Seattle Sounders. I would pro probably give him the armband as well. And then I think this is what I would do personally for JJ. And this looks good. Especially the challenger in season looks fantastic, man. Only thing, the young just needs to score a goal. But uh, I think he should be fine there. Alright, Konkata. Mr. Konkata. What do you want to see, brother? What do you want to see, Mr. Kon Konkata? We still have 1, 2, 3, 4, um, 5 energy I have left. And my stream is... Please, please don't drop. My stream might drop, guys. My stream might drop. So if it drops, I will be back. If my stream drops, I will be back in a second. Ooh. Ooh. Wait a second. Ooh, it's back. Okay, we didn't crash. We didn't crash. Okay. Because I can see how, uh, how many frames are dropping stuff, right? But we are back. Okay, that's that's good. So under 23, changer in season and uh, classic. Just be careful as I have Portland and MLS special. Um, okay, so let me just put in the Portland boys there then. You are here? Okay, that's good. Because, uh, uh, like, Paulson, I can see on, on OBS that I was dropping frames and uh, I could see that everything went down, right? Of course, Jonah. Of course, of course, of course. You are a member, so you are getting added. Oh, wait, Ayubi is also a member, so I'm doing uh, Jonah Led as well. Uh, wait, it's Jonah and then a lot of these. So Jonah Lad is definitely still there. As a member, you you get priority for that. Uh, I can add you, but I will probably won't do you guys, man. I can't lie. So we have Bovo and we have Tim uh, Timo. I will add you for now, but I don't think I will be live for that long because I've been live for almost two hours now. Oh, uh, what is your name? Uh, what is your name, Timo? If you if you are a member, you have a bigger chance of of me building your line of stuff because I will definitely do all the members right now. I will definitely definitely do all the members. So, wait, Timo, what is your uh, your soda name? What is your soda name, Timo? So I can add you and then I will have a look. Okay, you said you have the Portland boys in MLS special. Is the MLS special in here? It's probably down, right? Uh, whoa, MLS. 
weekly. My produce challenger in season. So you want me to do your challenger in season first? Oh wait, challenger in season and classic. Uh, wait, Konkata, do you want me to do your uh, your challenger in season first and then under twenty threes, or is under twenty three definitely your um, your main one? <coughs> so Paredes, Anthony. I'm just I'm just putting in as many uh, as many Portland players as I can in here because I can't use them right. I definitely can't use the Portland guys, right? So I'm gonna just put them in here, man. I'm, I'm gonna just put them in there, so I definitely know I can't use them. So then I definitely know that I cannot use them. Okay. Oh, well, let me add Timo in here as well, and then I can wait on. Oh no, in season the main. Okay, so in season is the main. I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. Timo. Alright, got you, Timo. Then, Konkata, so your challenger in season limited. Let's see. So, if Nicola Mantol, who should be playing against Vitrova, who are the worst team in the, the Danish competition. But I don't know how he scores, though. Nico Mantol. I didn't even know he played here now. Ooh. Last time, 2 2, though. But at home, 3 0. He scores decent. And Vitrova are bad, bro. Vitrova are bad. So, I really hope they can they can do a little bit better this time. Then Boscogli, who is a definitely a no-brainer. Then we see Dreyer, Hazard, Storikens, Matson, the Sar. The Sar needs to go in here. Uh, De Jong, Jimenez. Oh, Jimenez or Pavlidis? Pavlidis. Oh, this is going to be a strong team, Concata, man. I can see that already. Now we need another. Ooh, do we go with. Do we go with Koita or do we go with Jimenez? Aloki. Want to go with this? I low-key want to go with this. Then I want to go to your under 23s really, really quickly. Just, just, just to see what you have. So you have Lysa there. You have CK who should, who should be back. I think he starts. Not too sure, but he's, I think he should be back. Matson could be facing a suspension. Uh, should be or or like should or could be suspended. This guy is amazing from Ibar as well. So at home against one of the worst teams in the league. You like you just need to hope he smashes or gets a decisive because Stroikens tough game. Then Jimenez or Yao. Want to say Jimenez and then probably Stroikens anyway. So that's that. And then I want to see champion, no challenger classic. Let's see what do we have. So you, you, we have Roof, we have Watanabe, we have Dreyer, Matson, Taylor. Do we reckon Robert Taylor starts? Do we reckon Robert Taylor starts? Or no? Do we reckon Robert Taylor starts, lads, or no? Because he like he definitely knows how to score, you know? He definitely knows how to score for Inter Miami, even from the bench. Even from the bench. So he scores decent at home as well. So I low-key want to go with Robert Taylor in here. I'm back. My wifi was shit. But, uh, I have the same issues here, man. I low-key want to go with Taylor in here. Then... Luke de Jong for me against NSA. And as the extra, we have Dreyer and Torgan Hazard who could still do phenomenal. But I don't know, I don't know if Anderlecht are, are good enough. But then I if I had to choose, I would pick Dreyer for sure. I think this is what I would, uh, what I would do for you, Konkata. So these MLS teams are just like I wouldn't look too much. I just I just pressed every Portland Timber player in th that, I, that I saw. But Challenger in season looks good. It looks really good actually. In uh, the Classic Limited looks good as well. And then the Under-23 looks decent. Definitely looks decent. I I split up the the uh, the, the Anderlecht boys. Against Antwerp, ju just hope one of them gets a decisive. Yo, what's up, uh, Cameron? What's up? What's up? <laughs> what's up, Cameron, man? What's up? Hello? Hi. Hi, Cameron. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Let me know what you think, uh, Konkata. I want to see if I missed any any great players, players for example. So, we, so Butes or Kuke. I think I'm happy with Roof. Defender, I'm definitely happy with Watanabe. Can you see my chat? My soda name is the same as my YouTube. Can you see my chat? I can, yeah. I can, Cameron. I can, I can, I can, I can. 
Now I can. Cameron. Cameron M7. Bang. Alright. So Matson could be suspended. Thorgan Azar, very injury prone. And then others can go with the rest of teams. Exactly. Forwards, Luke Jung is probably the best option. Thiago can circle. Yeah. Driwesh is decent, but go ahead at home are, are very, very good actually. And Yao could always score. But I think this is this is definitely the definitely the best options. Alright. Alright. So he can go. He can go. Mantle can go. Alright. Lobs Gaming. Mr. Lobs. If you are still here, let me know. Let me know what you want to see, Lobs. I've been typing for 25 minutes. My name, I don't know if you could see it. No, I didn't I haven't seen your name. And the first message I saw was was the hello. Mm. Yeah, I can see Concat, I can see. But still, I, s I think you still have a decent chance with with uh, the lineups you have, man. It's still really, really decent. All right. All right, all right, all right. We're two hours in now into the stream, man. Two hours into the stream. So if you guys haven't liked the stream already, man, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you if you haven't seen that already. <coughs> oh, really? I've been talking to myself, bloody YouTube? That's crazy. That's honestly crazy, Cameron. All right. Um... All right, all right, all right, all right. I don't know if Lops is still here, to be honest. I don't know if Lops is still here. I know Simon asked me as well, I think on Twitter. I think he DM'd me on Twitter. Pretty sure. He didn't. He did not, he did not, he did not. Wait, what's this? What is this? Oh, yeah, this was the... Um, the, the spreadsheet that I need to have a look at. Bang. Okay, and then I will have a look in a second. And I will have a look in a second. I don't know what Simon said anymore. To be to be completely honest, man, I don't know what Simon said. I can scroll up in chat, but I don't know if. Oh wait, uh, challenger in season and classic dune, and then co assistant challenger Europe. Wait, what? So he said one challenger in season and one challenger classic. The thing Boscagli moves in the summer. I'm deciding between him, Hunchko, or Gertrude for challenger team. The thing is with Boscagli, he could. I've seen rumors with Napoli, but he said as well that he would be happy if he stayed at PSV for the next 10 years. Hunchko has just re 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 I can't talk, renewed his contract at Feyenoord as well. But I think that is just to get more money off him. And Geert Ruida, I can see him doing well in like the Bundesliga as well. So I think all three are decent options, man. I think they are all three class defenders and could do, could do amazing. Yo, what's up, Robbie, man? What's up, what's up, what's up? How are you doing, brother? How are you doing? Finally here, bro. I'm fi I'm al I'm almost done, Robbie, man. I'm two hours in the stream, man. I'm I'm fucking fried. I'm fried as hell. I'm fried as hell, brother. But I'm doing well, man. I'm doing well. I'm enjoying it so far. I'm enjoying it a lot. Enjoying this a lot at the moment, man. So Prupper Otamendi needs to be the extra, I think. Ooh, actually, never mind. The Sar Tisudali or the Young. When you put mine, please build. Uh, yeah, I think Muscogli makes sense for me. Then with Monopoly stack, he does, he does, he does, he does. Hey, Wally is still here. Wally is still here. My goat, Wally, man. My goat, Wally. And that's why Wally is my favorite film as well. I'm just kidding. I am just kidding. Still 29 people in here, man. You guys are, are crazy, man. It's 10 p.m. It's 10 p.m. Why are you guys still here? Why are you guys still here, man? All right, which which forward should, should we go with? Do we go with Tisudali and just hope Gent absolutely smash the hell out of Standard? And then as the extra, we go with probably Ooh, Weaver. I want to go Weaver. And he's amazed Hilgers. Um, it's gonna it's gonna be fifty fifty GF. It's going to be fifty fifty. Hey, Ruby, you got fans, man. You got fans, uh, including me. They better turn up. I really hope they turn up, man. And I, I, 
No, that's all I meant. I'm finally here. Not you. My bad. My bad, Ruby. Ruby, I'm excited for uh, for Scotland next week, man. I ended up work for another five days, so so I got all the time in the world free. Hey, let's go, Paulson, man. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. And then let's see the challenger off season. What we can make um, for Mister um, for Mister Simon. Simon, Simon. So Otamendi has to go there. I want to say Schoofs over Hans. Koita. And then Hartman, Otamendi, Van Aken. Maybe Wata just to, to stack him up. And then Captain Koita or Otamendi, I think. Maybe even Ota. I think this is what I would play for Simon. This actually looks really strong, man. I'm, I don't know about Tisu, Tisudali, though. That's the only thing I, I don't know. I don't know that. Oh, well, don't call me a fan. I mean, you are a fan. You you are a fan of Robbie. Of course, I still I st I still hear the wife in bed, and I and I and I can check uh, check it in the stream. Love the quietness in the house. Hey, let's go, Ali, man. We 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 love that a lot. We love that, don't we? We love that. And there's nothing to do where uh, where I live. Seven hundred people in the town. I live in nine hours away from Reykjavik. Wow, nine hours away, bro. Sheesh. All right, Ayubi, if you are still here, Ayubi twenty three. Mr. Ayubi, what do you want to see? What do you want to see, Mr. Ayubi, for your lives, man? You can pick two. You can only pick two, bro. Only pick two, Ayubi. So don't be greedy. Do not be greedy and pick two. Pick two. Guys, I'm I'm fried, man. I'm getting more and more fried by the minute. But I mean, it's definitely worth it, though. It's definitely worth it. Like, this stream is, uh, has been one of the best streams ever. Um, not only for R2S, but... Um, just just in general man like the the start of the stream was crazy and i really hope we can uh, we can keep that up man we can keep that up we got 33 likes at the moment which is probably one of the highest like marks on the stream ever so um we got 34 actually not even 33 so if you guys haven't liked already then make sure to leave a like and subscribe of course yeah i'm buzzing for scotland especially for the tournament and bro the hips game is going is gonna be fun man did um did um, pre uh, just just to be sure, uh, Robbie, did did Rock and I pay the 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 tiki? I'm pretty sure I did. I, I don't know if Rock did. Going to make a new purchase tomorrow. Oof, interesting. It'll be interesting. It's it's gonna be fun talking to you again and seeing you again, man. Multi-platform stream, man. I don't know how to to freaking do that, Corrupti. And I also want to say my my PC wouldn't handle that. And when you are in uh, in Edinburgh, you can check out Brew Dog Pub. We can definitely. Definitely, I think uh, Robbie, me, Rock, and uh, and one of Robbie's friends will probably be uh, be there, Mister Wally man. We will probably be there. Thirty seven likes, man, guys. Appreciate you a lot. Appreciate you a lot. If we if we manage to get forty likes on this stream, that would be honestly amazing. But this has already been one of one of the best best. He is he really is the Icelandic goat. So we have now Liam who has no no. I'm coming back. <laughs> I'm coming back. Please tell me I'm back. I'm back, right? Please tell me I'm back. Please tell me I'm back. Yo, Sigur. Sigur, Sigur. My wife, I couldn't handle the five uh, gifted members. The chat couldn't gift it. <laughs> what a timing. I appreciate you, Sigur, man. My wife, I could, couldn't handle the five gifted, but I appreciate you a lot, bro. Appreciate you a lot. Um, let's see who managed to get a member. We see Liam, we see OG Sloth, we see Yar, Anjia, we see um, Okems and Duncan Disordi. I have to be honest, I don't know any of those. I haven't seen them. Uh, I haven't seen them, man. No problem. I appreciate you a lot, Sigur, man. I appreciate you a lot. Sigur and Mr. Panic, you guys are amazing, man. I appreciate you guys supporting the channel, man. Um, you and Rock deserve it. I appreciate you, bro. I appreciate you, bro. Bro, this definitely... Just keeps on giving the motivation for Rock and I to um, to keep moving forward and um, and just put in the time and effort that we put into the channel, man. Not lucky again? Oh, unlucky, Andrea, man. Unlucky. Andrea, it's only two euros a month, man. It's only two euros a month. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Wow. All right, Jonah. I don't know if you are still here, Jonah, but tell me which limes you want to see because we need to move on after that, man. Is it two or three limes? Been having to go back and forth uh, from the stream. Uh, uh, let's go with two, man. Let, let, let's go with two because we still have a few people to go through. So let's go with two lineups for now, man. Wow. Sigur again. Appreciate you from the bottom of my uh, of my heart, man. Really, really appreciate you. All right. Let's see.
Wait, what is happening, man? What is happening? Am I back? Everything, everything is freaking, freaking going into the bin, man. Wow, everything is in the bin, boys. Everything is in the bin. I need to, I need to keep focus, man. I need to, I need to stay focused. What's up, Zico, by the way? What's up, Zico? Okay, both limited, by the way. Um, challenger in season and under, and under 23, please. Got the Celtic stack in contender, so no O'Reilly or Queen for under 23s. And Dortmund in champion. Okay, let me just put that in really, really quickly. So let me put in the Celtic boys. You said in contender, in contenders. Is it contender in season or contender classic? Probably in season. So no Kuhn and no O'Reilly, you said. So you probably have skills as injured. So you probably have, I want to say Taylor. You probably have O'Reilly, then Kuhn in here. Don't know where he is. Uh, Nicolas Kuhn and then Johnston, I think. So these. Then you have your Dortmund boys in champion. Back to normal. Yeah, we, we are now back to normal, man. From Sigur, Zico, yeah, Sigur and um, and Panic as well. Buy a membership, I'll throw you a two-year card on uh, to pay for it. Wow, hey, Sigur, tranquilo, hermano, tranquilo, tranquilo. You, you've done enough already, man, Sigur. You have done enough already. Wow, the Discord will, will be packed now, boys. The, the Discord will be absolute, absolutely packed now. I think plus 15, I think, I think someone else became, became a, I think Cameron, Cameron became a member as well. Pretty sure, so we got 16 extra members now, man. So Schlotterbeck, oh Schlotterbeck, Brand, uh, Malen, Maatsen. Oh wait, so Schlotterbeck, Malen, Maatsen. Malen, and then Maatsen in here. So against Bayern, I don't think I would have picked any of those anyway. Don't think I would have picked any of those anyway. Bro, that lineup, so glad I sold my contender place. I wouldn't have been able to compete. I need more, more people in the Discord uh, to get you guys buying Hakon. Yeah, <laughs> got you, bro. Imagine uh, you can't pay because you don't have a PayPal. Hey, Bovo, you can pick up a pay safeguard in the, in the shop as well. A lot, a lot of people have done that. Uh, a lot of people have done that, actually. All right, so what do you say again? You said under 23 and something else. Challenger in season and under 23. So challenger in season. Let's see. Let's see what we have. We have an Unerstal. We have a Steve Clark. We have Horvath. So he, this guy has a double game week, which makes it more interesting, man. Which makes it really, really interesting. He doesn't have a lot of cards either. Ooh, wait, who? Against Coventry. It is a double game week, though. A double game week for him. He has 50% of clean sheets at home. Which is interesting. But you also have a Steve Clark with a triple A or an Unerstal. Unerstal is the biggest chance of winning, though. I bought Hakon. Did you really, Zico? No way you did. No wait, 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 wait. Let me check that, actually. Let me check if Zico isn't capping. Let me check if Zico isn't capping. Zico is probably capping, isn't he? Oh, he he did actually buy him. Whoa! Wait, 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 wait. When when, when did? Whoa, Zico. When did you buy him? Wow, he bought him. A whooping thirty minutes ago. Wow. Hey, Zico, that's great. This guy's fantastic, bro. Zico, this guy is absolutely amazing. So great buy there, right there. Great buy right there. Wow, he did. Zico knows, of course. Zico, Zico is the guy, bro. Zico is the guy. Okay, so let's see. I think this just has to be proper or, or small. Then the question is, Echoes against Huddersfield could smash. We could also pick up a flop. Echoes hasn't been fantastic, to be completely honest. But don't forget, Jizz is in form. I know, Zico. I know, I know, I know. But Twente is Twente, man. Twente before the break were absolutely fantastic as well. So maybe just play the full freaking Twente boys in here. Just Koita instead of uh, Rots. And then probably go with this. Captain Prupper or Small. And then you should be absol absolutely fine. Not even the best Hakon though. Who's better than uh, Tobias? Uh, don't say it's Hakon Evian. If you say Hakon Evian. I'm not talking to you. If you say Hakon Evian. Then I'm not talking to you man. That's everything I can tell you. That is everything I can tell you. Alright. Sorry, mute for a sec. I want... Okay, got you. I'll be... Got you, got you, got you. You're, you're after this one, then. Uh, you be... Uh, you be... Uh, you be... Okay. Evian, how can Evian? He's good, though. I like him, but I wouldn't say he's the best. I would not say he's the best. And under 23 is limited. Let's see. Albert Gudmundsson is also from, also from Iceland. He is, he is, he is, he is. So, Suzuki. Let's just go with the freaking Centraudus uh, deck in here, then. 
<coughs> dus de forward would be... Oef, Nelson. Rots. Rots could be amazing, you know. Who are you? And why are you this good? Who are you and why are you this decent? Why do you know how to play footy, bro? I don't. I just don't know anything about him, though. That's the only problem. So we've wrote Sancho, Zaruri, Uga. Ooh, maybe Uga, actually. I think I want to play Uga in here. And just hope he does well. It's nil nil against Spartak. Like, he plays 90 minutes. He shoots on target. He just needs to... He just needs to get at the size of him. So I think I'm going with Uga in, in this under-23 team. Uga, Uga, Uga. Oh, or Idna. I think Uga. And then as the extra player, we got Smets. No, we already had Smets. I'm just kidding. Stokers, assist to Koita, and then bang. Captain Uga. And just hope he and just hope he scores. The, the reward pool looks really nice this game week. It looks decent, man. Elias Mar Omerson, my goat. Who the hell is that? If you're playing in Sweden, was Hakon played Champions League last season, scoring against Dortmund? Oof. Oof. Guys, we're almost on 40 likes, by the way. So if you just popped into the stream, man, make sure to leave a like, man. Appreciate it. Thank you. I got you, brother. I got you. I think that the, this looks good as well. I, I think the Celtic boys could do amazing against, against Livingston. This under 23 looks good as long as since Centrado actually pop, which could be doable at home. All right. Ayubi, what did you say? Ayubi, what did you say? What did you say? What did you say? There are a lot of Icelanders here. How can they spell those names? I don't know, bro. I don't know. Where is... Uh, sorry, mute for a sec. I want challenger and champion in season. All right. Challenger and champion in season. Okay, you have a lot of players, so this is going to be interesting. Okay, Trubian has to be there. That's just an easy um, easy pick with Otamendi. I think this needs to be a full Benfica team, because if there's one team that, that will probably smash this week, it has to be freaking Benfica. Again, Chavez, worst team in the league. Like, no doubt. I just hope, I just hope um, Thingy starts, um, Di Maria. I think this is it, man. I'd, like... I don't care what you do, but this needs to be it. Even, it doesn't matter who you captain as well. Even though captain is really, really important though these days now. Captain is really, really important. Um, pro 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 probably, yeah, Bova, probably. He has been starting recently as well, a lot. So I, I would say so, yeah, I would say so. Then champion in season, let's see. I saw Lunin, I saw Patala, Emiliano Martinez, Meret, Dubravka, Kobo. Is Kobo starting? I'm scared I play a change in season against these teams. I think a lot of I think a lot of people have some some great teams this weekend, man. A lot of people have some great teams this week. I think the matchups are the matchups are just there to be honest. Ooh, the goalkeeper is going to be tough. Kobo's doubtful. Yeah, I see, I see, I see. Areola against Newcastle. I don't know if I want to play Lunin. I think I, I honestly think Martinez has a bigger chance of keeping a clean sheet than Lunin has against uh, Bilbao. I honestly think Amy has a bigger chance of keeping the clean sheet than um, the thing he has than, than Lunin has against Bilbao. Even though Lunin has been class, do not get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I'm not disrespecting him. He could get some good good all uh, all around though. That that's the only positive about this guy. Uh, I think I have to go Lunin, man. Even though I do think Martinez could could do fantastic as well. He could do fantastic as well. Every time it's it's about to be my turn. They give away some subscription and I and I go back to, to the bottom of the list. My bad, bro, Andrea. My, my bad, my bad. My bad, man. But um, um, members just have priority, man. That's just how it works. That is just how it works, man. I'm sorry for the wait. I'm sorry for the wait. I'm trying my best to do as many, man. But I've been live for a long time now. I've been live for a long, long time. Um, Horvath, Cameron. We also have Robbie still to go. Wow. Have you got Twitter or Discord to talk about it? Uh, too hard to call at the moment. They haven't really stuck with the same front three for consecutive weeks. The last few games, that is true. That is true. Okay. The question is... Ooh, wanna go Ramani or Matson? Yes, this is only for laughing, of course, is right? I got you, bro, I got you. Ramani recently has been good, but that is mostly because of the, of the decisives. Mostly because of the decisive. If this guy doesn't get a decisive, he doesn't score as well. But still, 31 AA here, for example. He plays at home against Atalanta. Wait, really? His score doesn't change? Oh, I'm dropping again. I'm dropping frames again. 
No, 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 I'm dropping frames. I'm dropping frames. Oh, hell no. Wait, I survived. I think I survived. No, I'm not surviving. I'm not surviving this. Please tell me I survived. Wait, give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. Please tell me I survived this one. Wait. Wait. Oh, am I dropping? Am I dropping? Is it gonna survive? Is it gonna survive? Is it gonna survive? Wait, this is... Bro, guys, these are tough times. Scary times, man. Oof, we survived. We survived that. No. Yes. No. 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 Wait, no. It's still red. Please, man, do something, bro. Please. No. No. Uh, please tell me I survive. Please tell me I survive. Bro, I dropped... 2,000 frames. Wow. I just really hope we can survive this one. And it's lagging already, so it's not looking too good. But what the hell was happening? Yes, we survived. We are back to, to yellow. Can we go? Can we move up to green? I survived. Yup, we survived. We survived, lads. We survived. Let's go. We survived. Bang. We are, we are fine. We are fine. I think I would just honestly play the full the full rail stack in here. And just hope they absolutely, they absolutely smash. All right. You don't have Cruz or something? You do not have Cruz. So Brahim Diaz, that's not Brahim Diaz. <coughs> oh, Cruz. Cruz and then Valverde. Valverde, Mandy could be an option. Wanna go Valverde, Captain Cruz, bang. Real stack right there. All right, we survived. This is what I would play. Just, just play the Mefica stack and the Real stack and then hope for a good reward. All right, Cameron. What do you want to see, Mr. Cameron? What do you want to see, brother? Alright. Alright, 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 alright. 39 viewers still, guys. Do you guys don't have to go to sleep? Do you guys don't have to go to sleep, man? If you guys have a like, by the way, man, me, make sure to leave that like so we can hit those 40 likes, man. 40 likes on this stream would be absolutely phenomenal. Would be absolutely phenomenal. Almost two and a half hours in. Almost two and a half hours in. Alright, Cameron, what do you want to see, brother? What do you want to see? La 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 Keller Rose, Jeffrey De Lange, Ui, Oof, E, Ah. So for me, it has to be De Lange against Excelsior. Let's see if we can make a sick 240 team, you know. Kuipers. Let's see the Willemson, Bas, Sadi, Sadi in here. No, actually. Mm, actually, no. I, th I would say just go with the full go ahead, boys, if you, if you have that. If you have the full go-ahead boys, just go with the full go-ahead boys, I would say. And 57. So Kramer, Lansana, Dial, Edwardson. No, we played Edwardson. Bang, just go with the full go-ahead boys in here. Go for the middle threshold. Just go for the middle threshold. I would give five, like, if we if well, if we were able. Um, I'm free work tomorrow. I'm not sleeping until this stream is over. Okay. I'm I'm not I'm not I'm not streaming then. I'm not stopping then. I'm not stopping then. You can't sleep then, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but you can't sleep. Oh wait, this is off season. Uh we need to play Challenger. Classic, I'm doing I'm doing it good. I'm doing it good. So Warlesson, Small, Sadi, Forward, Van Wolfswinkel, Driewesh, Breum, mm, Ricky should be starting, and then Prepper as well. Bang. Then let's see what else we have. Challenger classic in season. We have Schendelaar against Ajax. We have Van Gassel. Van Gassel ain't doing nothing, by the way. I went Keller Rose plus all 20, boys. That could be OP, you know. That could be OP. That could be... On that, that could be really OP. Then you could just play this in uh, Challenger in season. Then, okay, okay. I think that's actually way, way better. Then I would play the Go Ahead Eagle boys in Challenger in season. I'm telling you, you that right now. You went Keller Rose. Oh, he's 42. And then bang. Sadi probably. Please tell me Sadi fits. Forward. Ricky. And then Prepper fits. Oh, that's proper awesome. Bang. And then 
Honestly, if you want to risk it, go for the for the 391. This actually has a chance. The Schendelaar is great. Schendelaar is great. Then changing season. I think we can go with um, with this then, right? So Kuipers, Willemson. No, then we need to play Lansana instead of Willemson. Uh, Oliver Edwardson. And then we had Kramer. Captain Kuipers. Ch Challenger in season right there. And then what else do we have? Warleson. Daland. Minda's injured, I'm pretty sure. Pretty freaking sure he's injured. Hannes. Just go with the full um, circular stack as well. And then add, add like a Willemson. Like, like this is just a throwaway. This is just a, a throwaway. This is just a throwaway. And then for the classic one, Schendelaar, or Kerstin against Ajax, or Horemans, or Dial. I would go Dial. Bas could always score well. Could always score well. Then Breum, and as the extra, probably Len Lennart T. I just, just hope he doesn't know, actually. Davy van der Berg. Bang. That's what I would do for you, Mr. Cameron. <coughs> That's what I would do for you. This Cap to 40 team looks insane. So you did a great job building that. And then just a stack here. Stack here plus Willemson, and then this is just a th complete throwaway. Right, Robbie, you said All Star Limited, right? Mr. Robbie, if you are still here. I think Rob Robbie, Robbie's probably the last one I, I will do, man. I can't lie. Probably, Robbie's probably the last one I will do. I just don't, I just don't have the energy anymore. I just don't have the energy anymore. Wow, I can't lie. I just don't have the energy. <laughs> All right, two and a half hours in, and my energy is completely gone. Completely gone. I also need to go to school at like, I need to wake up at like seven as well. So I, uh, I still need to do some some stuff as well. So this will probably be the last lineup. So Robbie, you said all star rare if I'm not mistaken. So or like uh, all star rare, all star limited, I think. So Schulte, blah 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 blah. Mickey van der Hart, I think Sh Shirl. Hato Kudert. I don't know, man, because I don't know what what, uh, what you play, Robbie. Because you play your your Hero Fame boys in Captain Forty, I think. So I can't touch any of those. But I don't think Van Beek would fit. I'm next. Wait, are you next? Uh, okay, I I will do you then, uh, Andrea, because you've been here the whole time. You've been here the whole time, Andrea. So I will uh, I will do that for you as well. Cucho and then Rossi together. Bang. But I'm pretty sure you play the MLS in season, so I don't know what to do for you, Robbie. All right, Andrea. What do you want to see, Andrea? What What do you want to see? I'm off to bed. Thanks for the nice stream, mate. You made my evening? No, I appreciate you, Wally, man. I appreciate you being here for almost the entire stream. Have a good one. I will definitely speak to you in the Discord as it is pretty active right now. Um, have a good night uh, and good luck at work tomorrow, uh, Wally, if you have if you have work. So, uh, good luck right there. Hi, right, Andrea, tell me. Give me your uh, your two your two teams you want to see. I see Venan I see Armani. Skorupski is probably giving me a clean sheet. Do you think it's worth lining up a rare champion in season instead of the rare cap to 40? Yes. Uh, I would say champion in season limited and classic. I would say yes. I think for the rare cap to 40, if you if you play there, you, you would just go for the lowest threshold, right? Wait, let, let me let me actually see your, your rare players. So Skorupski, good matchup. Beukema. Okay. Uh, because Bologna have an insanely good matchup, right? Because Bologna have an insanely great matchup, I would say play this in champion champion in season. Uh, not really, Bart. Not really. No, not really. I would play this in in, in champion in season because they just have a way too good a, way too good of a matchup, man. So definitely, it's definitely worth. It's definitely worth uh, Andrea. Uh, and then you said I would, I would say. So this has been a class stream. When will you next be live? Oof. That's a tough one, man. Um, I'm going f I'm going for this weekend. I'm going next weekend. So probably the next stream would be on Wednesday. Next Wednesday or next Thursday, probably. Probably next Wednesday or next Thursday, man. Or maybe even on Tuesday. Like, I don't know, man. I'm, I'm, I, I, like, I don't want to flex or something because um, it, it isn't really flex. But I have a very, very... Um, I have a really, really busy schedule these days. So this weekend, definitely no streams. Tomorrow, tomorrow, yeah, tomorrow, definitely no streams as I'm extremely busy. I got school from 9 till 4. Then I have practice at um, 7. So I could, nah, I mean, I, w I will probably be home at like 5. So I don't think one hour stream is worth. And then 
the day after I'm going on a on a weekend trip with my uh, with some friends as well. So no shot, no shot. Yeah, I, I would play in champion. I would play in champion this week. Uh, well, champion in season limited and classic champion in season limited. Champion in season limited. Let's see. We have Skorupski, Aduero. This guy against. Um, I don't know how good this guy is to be honest. But I would honestly give him a chance against Empoli because Empoli are ass and just play the full Inter stack. Oh wait, this is off season. Haha, <laughs> never mind. So play the Inter stack in off season. Play the Inter stack in off season. Play Skorupski in here again. Then Dalo. Dalo, Dalo, Dalo. Kalanoglu. Musiala, Mikta, Musiala, he, he can just always smash, doesn't matter the opponent, Kane is back training, so if you get a message that Kane starts, play him, yeah, I'm off to Barcelona from Sunday to next Sunday, oof, Barcelona is class, man, I've been there as well, Barcelona is absolutely insane, uh, as Eric Goss, so enjoy, man, enjoy Barca, enjoy, 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 hopefully uh, you have a great time there, I think I would go with this, good matchup, and these guys just need a decisive from each other, and then you should be fine, and then champ off season, so champ classic, just play the full Inter boys. I think, I think you need to play the full Inter boys. Uh, Kalanoglu, in my opinion, over Miki, Lautaro, and then Bastoni. Whew, this looks good. M maybe Di Marco actually, but in general, this looks pretty pretty good. Pavar is also not guaranteed to start. If he's not guaranteed, then Di Marco probably is, and Di Marco has a bigger chance of 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 hitting at the size of as well. And I think this looks phenomenal. This is probably what I would do, Mr. Uh, Andrea Pigoli. Will Kane play? I saw him, I saw pictures of him training t uh, today. So there, so if Bayern can make him fit for a game against Dortmund, he probably will be playing, yeah. I reckon he plays. I reckon he plays. So I think that's it. I think that's it, man. So guys, appreciate you. Appreciate you guys a lot uh, for the stream. We This was one of my best streams ever. 39 likes. If you guys haven't liked already, and if you want to be the 40th like, then make sure to do that. Mr. Panic and Sigur, appreciate you guys a lot for the gifted members. I um, want to thank you guys again, Mr. Panic. I want to thank you, Sigur Paulson, uh, Sergas, Wally, Andrea, Zico, uh, Kowalski, um, Andrea Pigoli, uh, Bart, um, Rising Reshi, Cameron, Bofo. Um, who else was there? Robbie was there. Uh, Phil was there. Um, who else was there? Um, Tobias was there. Uh, let me see. Let me just go up a little bit more. Let me go up a little bit more. Uh, Rock was there. Kurupti was there. Um, Duncan, Sloth, Liam. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. G Fee was there. Just everyone that was in there, man. I appreciate you guys a lot, man. Konkata, of course. Uh, Max, appreciate you as well. Um, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you guys haven't done it already. More content out tomorrow for every for, uh, for all the members. The draw will be there tomorrow. Um, so yeah, man. Stay tuned. Um, the Discord is still very, very active. And I appreciate everyone that is a member. Because you guys are keeping the channel alive and going. And uh, yeah, have a good one. Have a great Thursday night. And I will see you guys very, very soon.